I want to die. I want to freeze to death. I'm sorry. What? Hey. Hi. You fucking unquenchable thirsty motherfuckers. <laughs> Every week you needed another one? It's not enough? <laughs> 70 fucking 100 weeks in a row? <laughs> Is that a He's long? fucking unslakeable, thirsty. Get him, Neil. On. Get him. Hold get on. him, Nard. Hold on. <laughs> I'm no. I'm sick of this. Is this mic on? Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. How are you? Um, How are you? We did a. You ha, tell me about your week, Bianca. No, you tell me about yours. Well, what did I? I did the Kevin. I finished up the Kevin. Finished hearts. Kev. Um and did you uh, just chill after that? No, Bianca. <laughs> in my line of work, there is no chilling. Uh, no, I didn't chill. I have to do. I I. There's another thing. I've yeah. Do. The thing with him. The so, thing. I've uh, just been working on that. Oh, double time, Kevin. This week, a lot of Kevin. TTK. Well, I learned something interesting, which is when you, me and Cat, friend of the show, Cat, who may show up later on, um. We were, it, it's interesting to see what, if you Google your name, what the searches are. Like Neil Brennan, it's, yours would be feet. Every woman's huh? feet. Maybe at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Net worth three mics. Kevin Hart. Oh. Got into it. Oh. Bianca and Neil Brennan daughter. Daughter. Who, click that. <laughs> who is hopefully, people click think that. you are my daughter. Uh, it's wait, Chelsea Freddy. It's <laughs> Chelsea Freddy. <laughs> That's very um, funny. So yeah. What does so, it say your net worth is? Is it accurate? Just joking. Don't answer that. It says five million dollars. Is that totally wild? No idea. I don't. I don't like to get involved. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, I bring that up. Oh, that Kevin has broken into my my Google. What's your IMDb star meter? That I can't get into. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Don't do that. I don't care about no, that. No, I'm joking. Um, but that Kevin's broken in as a. It was a lot of Chase commercial. Kevin Hart. I think people want to know if we were really neighbors from the Chase commercial. No. Yeah. People ask me on Twitter, are you guys really neighbors? Like, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we live on the American Beauty Street. <laughs> where we shot the commercial. Uh, did that. And then. Look at all the people you're connected to. Uh, Dave. Donnell. Charlie. Burr, Burr, it's, Steph, just Burr. <laughs> it's just only no people from Chappelle. Um. The uh, so that was interesting for some reason to me. I don't know why I brought that up. Just the and constant connection. I did three spots on Saturday night. Where? Outside. Okay. <laughs> Different no more outside virtual venues. I've never done virtual. I've done two virtuals. No. Awful. Awful. <laughs> Awful. Is you? I think you described it as your nightmare. <laughs> it's my nightmare. It felt like suffocating. I've had bad ayahuasca trips better than <laughs> virtual stand-up shows. Uh, just a nightmare. So, but it looks like we won't have to do those anymore. Bye, think, uh, person. That, like, what do you think all these virtual sets and people who invested so much? I mean, I think they're gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, go to grad school. <laughs> I think you take what you learn and you go to grad school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And or you turn it into something for like bar mitzvahs or kids or you know right. what I mean like this is something. something. <laughs> well, uh, by Give the way, the a lot of the world still has a lot of COVID. So true. Um, true, true, true. We'll get into that. Oh, we're not we were. right there. Um, and anyhow, so you don't remember your week? I just it's I like I I don't know why it's a huge blank to me. Every it's only a blank when you ask me though. Mm -hmm. Midway through the podcast, I remember. Great. Let us know. We'll okay. Add it in. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, did you see about the George Floyd verdict? I did. did Didn't we already? No, it, it wasn't after out. Us? Yeah. Oh. They yeah. hadn't released it. They hadn't dropped it. <laughs> they didn't drop it. Didn't um, drop, didn't drop it. <laughs> well, the thing that we talked about uh, with about that, the sense I got was... Black people seem to be like, okay, like happy, but 
very qualified or like sad, whatever, I, like not whatever it was. It wasn't a hundred percent like, well, hooray. I think it's, mm, I don't think, I don't think it's ever going to be OJ again. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like also right. we just have too many discussions. We know too much now. It's just like, well, okay. OJ was a perfect storm. OJ was a perfect storm. Meaning it was yeah. like killed a white lady, got away with it. It's fucking hilarious and great. <laughs> Don't say death is hilarious. I write letters. Um, only talk about slavery and other stuff that I think is funny somehow. Um, this was a guy died and the guy got found guilty. So it's not like. Right. It's, it's, it's not as celebrated. Like, it's not. There's no. It's not about class or any of that. It's not like all the shit that OJ was. Um, I my sense was that white people, liberal white people, were very relieved. Like yeah, I think oh. a lot of people were relieved just for just a like a moment of like, okay, great, that worked. Right. That worked after right. a year yes. of <laughs> talking about how shit doesn't work. Yeah. And most, I was not confident he was gonna. I it, when the like co other cops were turning on him, it's, and then the guy who flew in to get to say that he, yeah, he carbon monoxide, uh, <laughs> gravel, guy. but he had sidewalk, sidewalk, <laughs> sidewalk itis. Um, uh, the <laughs> like. That one, that guy looked like a fucking goofball. He looks now apparently so he's bad. being investigated by Maryland. Yeah, which is good. Which they is, should. Yeah, great. Um, and yeah, I get the feeling white people were like, I couldn't read another book about racism, <laughs> and I'm just glad that for another few months I don't have to donate or march right. or do anything. I don't have to think about my terminal whiteness i don't have to think about it I'm just like okay i can just go back to ignoring it more or less right being aware of it and go ah everybody uh, was morally off the hook yes like, cool great yes now republicans i think f at least 46 percent of it might have been 56 percent of them didn't uh yeah 46 percent thought it was the wrong outcome oddly enough all of them <laughs> said he should have been charged with something which is very strange mm -hmm. in and of itself, but they didn't like the murder, um, the second degree. Yeah, again, that's one of those things. Like, of like what? It's like okay. when someone breaks up and you go, "I didn't like how you went about it. How? <laughs> yeah. What should I have done? What right. should I have done? You card? What do you? What, what's like the? How should I have broken up with you, right, right. sir or miss? Um, Interesting ha thing happened the other night. This is a total side note about okay. Sarah Miss. Yes. So I'll do jokes about men and women, right? Mm -hmm. My stock and trade. And I can see gay couples in the crowd disappointed. Men, two men. How do you know they're gay? You can tell. Because um, <laughs> okay. people look like what they are, is how I can tell. They were interacting like not too, di yeah. you know, too guys. To quote Bill Burr, she looked like a lesbian. The same way you can tell when there's a lesbian. <laughs> um, what? How can you tell? Everyone's everything. Nope. Uh, so, but I could sense her disappointment. And it's one of these things where I don't know how to, how, it's like, I don't know what to tell you. Because I can't talk about you guys. Meaning I can't, I don't have any experience with gay couples. So, uh, like, just I guess just be disappointed for now. There's not going to be... They were... I don't get what their disappointment... Meaning their I'm disappointment going men lie. and women... Did mm -hmm. it, I'm describing men and women, right? In just relationships as the norm, mm -hmm. which statistically is the norm. But I can see them... Or at least I felt them be a little disappointed like well w this doesn't apply to us what about us yeah and to which i my response to their fake query my fake response to their fake query that i'm projecting onto them is <laughs> i don't know what to tell you what part of it is that you maybe some sort of inner like hey, don't you start Accusing me even, of not but, knowing, uh, but I don't even know. feel defensive about it. I actually feel like I'm, I'm, um, 
it's like just a uh, better business, like just a better business fair. It's a Crime Stoppers thing where they don't, they don't, it's not, I, I'm talking about a thing that they're not included in. Okay, but that's the same kind of defense that uh, Christian Mingle took when they would not let people search for uh, gay relationships. And their defense was, we don't know gay people. So how well, can we? I, I can't, I'm doing gender jokes. I, the, right. Thank you for lumping me in with Christian Mingle. <laughs> no, I'm just, but I'm doing gender jokes. No, no, I know. I don't know. It's about male, female relationships mm. of which I have voluminous experience <laughs> so much um so don't you think though okay let's we're n neither of us are gay but don't you think that in each like uh, in lesbian relationships or someone's a man someone's a woman someone like yeah, there's even I, jokes about it you know like i'm I a top to i'm a bottom to do a joke about it and i think like one just, of your jokes but f like no i was masking. just like because she did a joke about like, where do you get your protein? That thing for mm -hmm. vegans. And it's like the the lesbian version of that. It's like, which one is the man? Right, right. And she just couldn't figure out a way to do it. She's not funny. <laughs> no, she just did whatever. I think she was just like, no, I don't want to talk about it. Right. Um, which I get. But she, we never, there was no follow up. Uh, I don't know why. She, <laughs> but, um, but uh, yeah, but I can't even, I can't say that. I yeah. can be like, you can't, yeah, fucking, exactly. you're you kind of, your hands are tight. You put it together yourself. Your hands are tight. Um, anyhow, so white people are relieved about the George Floyd verdict uh, enough, enough, they, you know, white podcast hosts no longer have to have black people on for another year. <laughs> enough with all the racism enough all talk. The, the enough. Weird listening. White people don't have to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Do they uh, listen like oh, Neil's is, putting two like hands on white person chest. listening? Mm. And white people are the only people who listen noisily. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, and now the question that kept coming up and in, in my head as well. It so there's the thing with uh, uh, Madeline, what's her name? The con the the congresswoman, um, the black woman. Uh, Madeline, huh? No, not Madeline Dean. Black woman. It's not Madeline. It's uh, Maxine. Maxine, Maxine Waters. Waters, yeah. Um, I was like, Madeline? Uh, she said something. Trump, I'm sorry, Biden said something. And it's just like, that's tampering, witness tampering, whatever. Is there... First of all, Trump said a fucking shitload about cases, so let's try those as well. Right. Anyhow, is there something about barbarians at the gate or pressure from the outside world that affects outcomes? To which I would say, like, yeah, that's kind of the way shit works. Meaning, if yeah. you don't find him guilty, there's going to be a riot. Right, but there's so many cases where... It was like, no, that's in the bag, hundred percent on camera. Yeah, cops in the wrong yeah. or somebody in the wrong, and they get off. So it's not something foreign to people. You know what I mean? Yeah. My question is, they're making it a thing now where, like, well, black people are extorting. Uh, uh, they're extorting convictions. Yeah. From from us, and it's kind of well, aren't. Weren't white people kind of doing that where it's like, in, yeah, not, you move not the with riots, but. No, you move the case. Uh -huh. Oh, this can't be fair and impartial. Let's move it to an all white mm -hmm. reflects like pro I say police. One more word about Simi Valley. <laughs> and I swear to God, I will hit you on Neil, camera. Neil, Neil I don't care. Simi. I'll get away with it as a good white man. <laughs> um but yeah, but that's not even that. Of course that. But, but I just mean there's so many tools they can to roughly do the same, arguably do the same thing, which is. But also just white influence. norms are the, are the barbarians <laughs> at the gate. Do you know what I mean? Just They're like the this idea of like of the, the 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 sort of foot hearing footsteps or like right. what house is going to reverberate. I think. Maybe not as consciously, but I feel like juries had that in the back of their heads of whether they realized it or not, just enforcing norms. Right. And so this is a new norm. And 
I, I get. I'm not opposed to it. What are you? What, you what are we what talking about? Like what are you say? not opposed to? Really quick. I'm not opposed to the idea that black people are at the gate, so to speak, ready to pounce if the jury, if the verdict, if they don't come to the right verdict. So, yeah. like, I'm not. I don't know if it's justice exactly, but n- neither is what's there now. So right. at, at least, I mean, this is, it's recriminant. It's, you know, it's, it's just, it feels it's like vengeful when, in a way, but it's, I, I don't, the, the existing system is vengeful. Right. And of all the parts of the system, apparently the jury system is the least, that's the one that actually does function. It's what they're allowed to hear, what evidence, what charges they can only do so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I find it funny that we're now we're talking about not like you bringing yeah. it up, but our jury's getting influenced by the outside. I'm like, that's of course a jury's going to get influenced by the outside world. Like that is part of the point. That's why they get sequestered. Why, right. That's why they no, say well, anonymous. That's impartial. So there's, there's no such there's thing. There's no as such thing. Truly impartial. It's like I ha- I'm black. I'm I'm right. Dominican. I'm white. I'm rich. I'm whatever. Like I'm gonna have biases. Yeah. The the process of eliminating a juror is crazy. You know, it's like they do background checks yeah. on you and see, have you ever seen R- runaway jury? Is that a John Grisham? <laughs> you think it is. Yeah. It's no, so I didn't see funny. It. I don't know. I was on a plane and it was playing. It's terrible. They'd only played on planes. I feel like <laughs> just straight to plane. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's so funny. They have a whole like center of tracking every juror. It's like, no, send someone. And oh, then a guy bumps him. And, and no, it's, it's terrible. It, they put way too much. Like, there's not a team of people monitoring the jury. Yeah. It's very funny. But we are so obsessed with the juries. You know what I mean? We're hyper obsessed well, with juries. Well, juries, they're just like us. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, it is like that. It's, 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 a, it's a focus group with big consequences. But we are not nearly as obsessed with other aspects of the justice system as we are in the juries. It's like, they're the like, ah. least... I mean, the, a lot of lawyers get book deals. Lawyers, juries, yeah, sure, but there's like systems in. You the, want more focus on bailiffs, <laughs> things no, like that. No, no. I mean, just you know, how, like I don't think people realize how much power like judges have to allow certain things. I, the whole thing is no one's impartial, you know. Yeah. Yes. There's no. There's no such thing as. Uh, it's the it's I wanted to confess to my biases, Uh-oh, even though come on. everyone already knows. The guy who was saying remember the guy who wrote in the email and said like about exterminate all brutes and mm. how it was we were basically like talking about white eugenics. Mm. Um what I'm I I'm I'm predisposed to side with black people because because of Dave giving me an opportunity. So I'm never not going to side with black people for the most part. So just know that. Damn. Imagine if Dave was a woman. Oh. Oh. Forget it. I don't the even. Predisposition. I, don't, I can't even <laughs> dream. Dr- I mean, keep dreaming. <laughs> um, so I'm predisposed. And as a liberal, there's not much downside to siding with black people. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, there's yeah, no sure. like you're not no in one's your position. Be, there's no there's not much downside. There's very little risk. Yeah. Um. So I'm sitting pretty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm doing great. Uh, Le- oh, LeBron he, tweeted. Oh yeah, what did he tweet? Picture of the guy who killed the girl in Micaiah. in Ohio, and he tweeted a picture of him <laughs> with the words "You're next." Uh, close up of the guy. Apparently, LeBron's going to be a witness in the case <laughs> based on the he's shirt, he's, shirt, the Nike shirt that says "witness." Um, so Neil, too quick. So uh, too quick. Too quick. Still got it. Still got it. Um, seven hundredth week in a row. <laughs> really hitting uh, your stride. Uh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, so you're next, and then accountability. Now you're next. Made it sound like we're going to kill you. <laughs> right. Uh, even though he followed it up with accountability. So You're as next usual, in accountability. Right. As usual, people taking shit, uh, what I call thin slicing mm. and going, mm. he said you're next. No, he said you're next accountability. Um, but, and then he took it down and 
said that people are always trying to, you know. Yeah. Um, so. But, but the funny thing is, I read that um, that where Derek Chauvin's being held, waiting for like his yeah. sentencing, um, all of the black COs were, are not, they were pulled off of his area and not allowed to work. Um wherever he's being held. I don't know, whatever block yeah. it is. No black CEOs are allowed over there. Only white CEOs. Well, And now somebody, they're suing. Who's suing? The CEOs? Yeah. So uh, basically everybody not, Are they getting their shifts cut? Yeah. They you start cutting shifts, I swear to God. <laughs> it's everybody who's not... It's not only black. It's just only white people are allowed to um, monitor and patrol and work where Derek Chauvin is. D.L. Hugley... His whose Instagram is almost all <laughs> just f shooting videos. It's, it's basically face of death on DL's It really timeline. is rotten.com. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I was going to write when it said Derek Chauvin is on a segregated ward, I was going to write underneath, well, I'm sure he's a segregationist. <laughs> and I realized, like, nah, it's probably not worth it. No, it's not. But <laughs> nah. um, yeah, I, Chauvin's never been happier. This no, is his dream. <laughs> He's just like, I'm alone, yeah. uh, not, alone a black white, yeah, not a black guy in sight. Um, I'm finally, I'm safe. <laughs> um, he's He hasn't exhaled like this in years. He goes to jail to, to feel good. Waiting to exhale was um, basically about yeah. So, uh, So that's that. And as we all know that, so, you know, out of the frying pan into the fire, uh then what's the girl's name makai uh bryant makai bryant she gets killed in a uh the guy shoots oh shoots first questions later of course the the question is what would you like a cop to do if you're getting stabbed yeah, yeah, it's I don't that one's tough because first of all, I don't like how much the guy looks like me. He really the cop. does. I'm not happy with he's this. He's receding hairline Neil. That's correct. And <laughs> and no bow flex, Neil. No bow flex, no bow finger. Mm, no bow finger, no bow no flex. Bow <laughs> uh yeah, uh, so does the problem is okay. Let's say so I read exactly what happened mm -hmm. and it it's like convoluted, but let's just say you're getting assaulted in your house, which is, I think, what was going on. This is foster care. Some, yeah. Someone visited, arguing over the house cleaning. It was right. not, like, worth anybody's life. Um, Again, which, first of all... Anybody in... First of all, the fact that cops have to manage a fucking house cleaning <laughs> is like just it's the mayor of chicago to quote last week it's just like what i'm in charge of fucking house cleaning disputes no, they did. well it obviously of course escalated, it escalated crazy. but i'm just saying like that's what the cops that's like what they're tasked mayor with chicago. it's just fucking like oh fuck it's, you it's mayor of chicago yeah so the problem is okay let's just say you're in it, the, the problem what the cops saw, what happened beforehand is not that important. So let's say you're getting assaulted in your house and you wrestle the knife away from the person and then you're going to stab them and you get shot. Like how, what is their, what's the, how do we get justice when you call the cops and you need help and they catch you in the wrong frame? You know, they catch you at the wrong time. Well, yeah, I... That's the. I, I, there's I don't know a. If there's, there's a. a uh, when you are, if I arrive at the scene, mm. that's a fucking chaos. Even the frame, the freeze frames of it are chaotic. No, you don't know what. It looks like the uh, one of those frozen challenges thing. What was the? They're the, called the. Um, wait, uh, wait. <laughs> it was that race drummer song. Yeah. It was the uh, mannequin challenge. Yeah, the mannequin <laughs> challenge. Like even the mannequin challenge. Don't you don't need to look it up. Everybody <laughs> no. knows. Um, Except for Will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Will's what? Um, so the that's not even a good one. But the it look the, the in the other frame at the top of it the the that guy looks like he's stomping somebody. It just looks fucking crazy. It does look crazy. So if I show up at that, cat's point of view was like if I'm getting stabbed, 
don't shoot at the person who's stabbing me. Because, like, what are the odds you don't hit the person getting... Like, that's... you got to be a really good shot. In fact, they could have easily both been dead. Uh-huh. Um, so... I don't know. It's hard because there are so many instances of people doing this that are white that do live. That's that's that's, that's the the problem. the uh problem and the n- n- well the, the I I don't know if it's the outlier but it's like the in an experiment the AB if it's white people probably not sh- firing shots. No, I mean there's so many examples of Coming at police, like not even somebody yeah. else. And yeah. hey, stop. No. Yeah. Wrestling him. Yeah. You know, I don't or like can you you can get her in the calf? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know though. The problem is that I don't have enough tactical knowledge of what they're trained to do <laughs> to know if like he did what he was trained to do. The training the, is the issue. The senator, the black black female senator said he did what he was trained to do. The the which then goes like okay well what was he what was he trained to do? <laughs> That's the training. Like she was on one of the Sunday shows. I don't know who it was. Yeah, I I don't know. It just seemed so chaotic. I understand that shit's chaotic. You're there to solve. You have to make quick decisions, but I don't know. It's also just really bad timing and it's just uh, bad. Just None like, of it's good. It's just one of these like. It's, Fuck, I don't know, man. It's hard to look at that. And I understand that, hey, there was a level of, what do you want me to do? Let her stab the girl? And then they would be like, you just let her kill her right. because you, I don't know. But I, I get that there's enough examples. Where you know they, who would have really helped this scene? Who? Spider-Man. What would he have done? Goosh to the knife. <laughs> Goosh to the knife. Blue Goosh. Should knife close up of the knife, close up of the spider web coming in, grabs the knife, pulls out. We go wide. Would you uh, would you invest in a Kickstarter for a gigoosh? for black Spider Man black crime unit? Gigoosh, gigoosh, gigoosh. Um, I I, I almost invested in a <laughs> in, in a Kickstarter this week. You for love it's a it's a countertop. Um, what do I have in the back with the trash? Oh, a, a shredder? No, well, I have a paper shredder, of course, but I have the uh, compost the compost bin. Yeah, why is it's this? A comp- I gotta spin it. Oh, you have I a manual got it, one? I do. Yeah, well, they're all manual, sweetie. Okay. This is a sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Um, they're so anyway, there's a countertop, um, one of those. So, no, they smell. No, this doesn't. They got it, they figured it out. I feel like. You know the SNL skit where adults are just, um, it's kind of meant to look like porn, but people are really on Zillow? Mm-hmm. That's you on Kickstarter. Just mm-hmm. what can I... Because it's really like, in? it's the price is always pretty, <laughs> like 80 <Steel>? bucks? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are y'all doing we, over we there? Ha- we haven't had a dumb purchase in a what while. What are y'all doing? Yeah. I bought one of those key fobs for the Apple... <laughs> <laughs> the Apple key fob that is what? getting pop up ads because you know Where? how Google is. Once you buy something, they're like, well, show them some ads about it. I don't get if key fob. Uh, what Apple does it do just to thing. find your key? Yeah. It's oh. the little thing. It's You can put them on anything. I have one of those, but it was not Apple. Well, and I got it years ago. So, uh, yeah, one of those with the, oh, the air tag. So, I don't know why that looks like such a yuppie. Well, it's just, the shoe fits. Sick. You've seen my net worth. <laughs> I um, have. Um, so, so yeah. So, so I, that's one of those things where just kind of above our pay grade. What are you gonna way. do? <laughs> what are you gonna? I, I I don't know what. Obviously, I don't know what to do. And then when you go, what if they were white? I go, wouldn't have gotten shot. 100% so there's the shot. problem. How we handle that? I have. No idea. I mean, I, it's just deep. It's seven layered. It's a seven layer dip of of uh, racism. racism and psycho and psychology and mm. slavery and <laughs> fear and the, this shit we talk about endlessly for a hundred and two weeks in a row. <laughs> um, they love it. We've given it, it a go every week, guys. A <laughs> hundred and two weeks in a row. We've tried to solve the problem. Come back next week and watch us try to solve. <laughs> 
the Thinking seven the layer dip of racism. Now, moving on. I don't know if this qualifies as racism, but Johnson and Johnson, JJ, uh, they they're back. <laughs> they took a week off. They took a two week hiatus, and they are back now. They <laughs> yeah, most Americans don't want it. Yeah. I bet they don't. Well, I said that they should um, they should give out the Johnson Johnson vac- vaccine at the outlet mall <laughs> because <laughs> it's like it's lightly it's irregular. They have some <laughs> irregular vaccines. Lightly bruised. I know. But, it, but also people think like people that, you know, the odds of getting COVID were like, you know, one in 50,000 or something. Or I don't know what the getting odds are. or dying? getting it. Okay. 32 million. So about 10% of America got it, right? So one in 10. One in 10. Not one in So And years. one in 10 and people were like, nah, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not, I'm not catching it. One in 10, I like my odds. <laughs> and then they go, there's a one in a million chance you'll get right. blood clot. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like those numbers. I, like, okay. okay. <laughs> no, I someone, I'm on a group text and... This person did not care about COVID, yeah. didn't care about any of the risks, and then started posting everything about Johnson Johnson. And I just wrote, stop. Why are you fear mongering? Yeah. When you didn't care. He was like, I'm not fear mongering. And I'm like, everyone on this text that is afraid it has something to say against the vaccine does drugs. Mm-hmm. You do cocaine and among mm-hmm. other things. I'd love to be brought into your circle. <laughs> I know it's F- not my It was a, I'm not going to yeah. out what kind of text it is, but. It's I, a the, lit. I think the word you're looking for, it's a lit ass, it's lit ass thread. It's just, you do cocaine. Chill. You're good. If you weren't worried about, if you do drugs and you weren't worried about the vac, the catching COVID. Yeah. It's just people have no consistency at all with what they like oh no one in a million nailed it that's me <laughs> um, <laughs> i'm one, one in ten in- nah but i am one in a million I'm i know so that unique. yeah it's all the people that weren't worried about it, that you one in ten it's like yeah it's the same thing of like but the odds of them making in show business are one in a billion <laughs> and they're like nah i just have a feeling um so best of luck, Johnson and Johnson. People aren't gonna like you, and they should. Uh, They're just gonna go to the poor country. Yeah, let's be honest. Let's just keep it real. You know what? Uh, although I have a, a really good. Well, this is a nut. That, so all the poor countries are mad. They're mad because the rich countries are getting it first. So this is my, as I think I've said on here, maybe not. Um. If you're, if you believe in justice and you believe in uh, privilege and you believe in sent, I hope you sent your vaccine to India. <laughs> Something tells me you didn't. Right. And I'm not talking about Johnson Johnson. Anyone can send a Johnson Johnson. I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about my, one of them sweet my, Modernas my or damn. Pfizer's, <laughs> a nice that, Pfizer. People, you ain't giving. What about your privilege? What about your vax privilege? Right. Your vax priv. Meals come for everyone. No, but it's just like I watching these people right. like oh, you should give up. Yes, and pretty girls are going to give up drinks to to the <laughs> uh, to the plain looking girls at the bars. It's a world of constant justice, and, except when you have to do it. I say that as a white man. So That's I've got re- I've got a vested <laughs> interest in not giving up my privilege, but no uh, one does. Is my no, point? No one does, and it, the vaccine. Uh, inequality is that is going to last longer than the pandemic. But what I would say to those people is like, so what did you wealthy countries got the vaccine? Yeah. Wealthy people get the new iPhone when it comes. It's like, Mm -hmm. that's just how wealth works. Yeah. And it shouldn't apply to health. I agree. But ah. What did you think America and England were going to say, like, sorry, citizens? Right. By the way, that would have actually helped with vax uh, desire in America. Uh, if they gave it away to poor countries, they would be like, you yeah, oh, away to my thing. Why is it so, it's such bad writing. I know. It's so easy. I know. Um, so. That's so, exactly what would have happened. So 
so they did you think we what would we say like no we're not going to give it to our citizens we're going to give it to old people in bangladesh it's just it's like just, not the way that not the way the earth has i don't know worked. ever worked but kind of ever worked um also did you see how we're going to hit a point where we have more vaccines than people who want it yeah on t on thursday i think <laughs> basically it happened already yeah uh, so we're hoarding. Everyone's hoarding. Yeah. Well, it'll and be good for negotiating. It'll be like, you know. Yeah. Which is so good... moral. It's just the moral failure of mm -hmm. the world. Yeah, but we get all the f I mean, I don't yeah, fucking but... know. I don't know. It's not your problem. It's, no, it's I know. really government's yeah, it's like, job. Uh, it's but I'm, like, I'm saying. You can't do anything about that. Like we can't do anything about that except I'm not even together. talking about citizens. I'm talking even yeah, if I'm I mean. in the government. I don't know how to solve it. I don't know how to tell my citizens, sorry, even though you pay taxes, phew, we're we're gonna be fair about some shit for some reason. Because we're not fair about anything. No, no, no. I don't think who ex no if you expected this vaccine rollout to be fair worldwide, that's you're a sucker. You suck ass, Mark ass buster. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You got your <laughs> head out your ass. Uh, but I do think if we've reached, once we reach a point where, okay, you don't want it? Because I'm going to give it to Africa. Yeah. Well. Well, wait. Well, no, wait, where where are they? Let me see them. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. Well, I'll take the first shot. Um, so. I, I, and honestly, some people that I know that are being very ignorant this yeah. year are like, "Did you take Moderna?" Like, I love that's the new the, what, the new that's the new what airline did you fly? <laughs> what? Oh yeah. What? How was the flight? You fucking come on, man. Who gives a shit? You know the difference between Pfizer and Moderna, right? And AstraZeneca. Do you know that? Do you fucking <laughs> you know Johnson Johnson because it's blood clots? And everyone knows that, right? Stop asking me. Because you don't know what the you don't have a follow up other people than are I don't asking you. Yeah, people. That's the question. What? It's just small talk one on one. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it is. But yeah, it's sad. Uh, so yeah. Um, what is shit fest? Shit fest is when uh, Ohio State has a shit fest every year, and uh. It's just a street, so they have a celebration on a street named like Chittle, Chittle something, okay. something. Anyways, shit fest is just is just party riots. They all end like cars flipped over. Have you? Do you see the party riots in the house tonight? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I found it interesting that one, no one talks about it. It happens every year. Um, they damn it. They have a the police have a task force to mm -hmm. figure out how what to do they surrounded this whole two three thousand person party that were destroying property no arrests made no i don't know we just we treat it so differently and i'm not gonna and that's not to say they have never had any punishment i went back but this has been going on at ohio state since the 80s mm -hmm. every year it's just party riots <laughs> and Granted, it's in more interesting to look at to me. I mean, it's just funny. It's like just kids. I, being there's so no stupid. one makes me less comfortable than that age boy, a nineteen that age year old boy, boy with a bunch like, of them. Ugh, a bunch more than two. Like, ugh, I just watched confident, the videos, like un <laughs> so confident, bad. but also like giveaways that they're not confident, don't know what to do with their <laughs> hands, and like just goop, like looking, to, always looking at the other guys, the other just really. Uh, students that they're so those were all student cars they yep. destroyed everyone's like do something about it but there were no arrests made there were helicopters the whole time they were surrounded the whole time mm -hmm. no arrests made I just find it funny that we don't talk about and this is a yearly riot mind mm -hmm. you it's they have different fests for different that guy seems not white so he's going to jail oh yeah one of the people of interest is Asian I was like Fuck not this and, week. He's fuck not. around and fi find out. Number eighteen. Number eighteen. Um. It, it, Stop number Asian 14. Hate Week is about to end. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. So, I, anyways, it's just it's funny that we treat 
Yeah, it's just one of these AB things. It's like, yeah, white black people couldn't do it. It's that it's beyond. It's so beyond hacky at this point. It's just like, yeah, that's the fucking. That's where it is. It is. I'm not saying we everybody should riot and loot. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm saying you're saying is, white people get away with wild shit. Wild. That why as long as it's in the some it's like in the good old boy. Yeah. Like that's yeah. just Ohio's. You know, this is boys those. being boys. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. Moving on. Um, now the Oscars. It was big for um, it was it was big for um, for well, it was a big. It was a champs. It was big for the champs podcast. Trayvon won. Yay. Trayvon won. Uh, um, uh, Amir was the Qu- DJ. Questlove. Questlove Amir. Questlove Thompson. Amir Thompson. Uh, um, James Poyser did the music for for Trayvon's movie that's on Netflix. Um, who else? Dan, even though it's not the champ. Kaluuya, that's yes, us. Kaluuya, that's friend the, of the friend of the pod, friend of the pod. Kaluuya, um, Dan, who Bianca calls him Dan, and Dan. I, when, I took me five seconds to realize who the fuck she was talking about. <laughs> Dan. He just swept by uh, yes. Thing. Well, Will likes to do this. It's a speed scroll. Yeah. It's um. Just for so. Him. So it was who else? Somebody else. Uh, the Lucas brothers, who were champs oh, guests, yeah. they they did not win. Promising young woman won. What did they do? They Lucas the brothers. Lucas brothers wrote the Dan's movie. They wrote. Th- they they yeah they wrote the first draft and then it was rewritten and they got story credit. Cool. Yeah, I think it was their idea to do a movie about it. Um, so that's very cool. And who else? Um, that was, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty. The most, of uh, the most winners I've ever known. Um, I thought it was funny that. Did you watch it? I didn't watch it. No, I saw Trayvon's speech. That's all. I just saw I the can't, clip. I can't watch the award shows this year. Oh, they're. Just- I mean, they're, they're nauseating. They're not their whole thing's nauseating. I didn't watch it. I just watched Trayvon's speech because it was there was a link to it and I was like, I'll watch it. Kaluuya, I think, got a laugh Yay. on his Dan, as Dan. you as as he's known. Um he is Dan. DK. Um no, no Neil. D <laughs> uh <laughs> so so uh so yeah, so good for them. I hope you yeah. um he made a joke about his mom having sex. Oh um lovely. So, um, the funny thing is that it was an union station downtown mm-hmm. LA and did LA. everyone end by saying, I got to catch a train. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm hoping that'd be so funny. I'm, why did you write that? I, I don't know no why. Gets- Cause I just assume so, everyone would do that joke. Oh. I got to get on the 823. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Anyhow, uh, the funny thing is, is as I, I, you know, I am a houseless warrior, apparently. Uh-huh. So uh, they displaced so many homeless people to do uh, the Oscars there. So many. They couldn't go back to, I mean, you know. Again, I, that's one of those things where they're not supposed to be there either. That's the problem. It's like displaced from a situation yeah. where we're. Yeah, they're not. It's not like they're supposed to like, oh, good. It's not a homeless station that has trains. No, but I mean that's what it's uh, it become, wasn't. It's yeah. not like in the actual thing. It's just even around it, and you know, uh, it just was. It was just uh, in. I always feel like these award shows try to be very, you know, honorable and mm, moral. This year and there was so much high white moral com- compass. So mm, many hands over chests. Mm, uh, mm. Meanwhile, there's homeless people that. Yeah, I, it's just funny. It's the, just the, a funny. Gesture. Here's a t- tip for everybody: just tip, don't tip pretend up. you're righteous. Literally. Just don't pretend you're righteous because you're got. You, there's no end to. There's too many layers of hypocrisy. It's like I'm righteous. W- where do you live, America? How did America was found? Oh, it's a, we slaughtered um, <laughs> millions right. between you can go back. six and a hundred million Native Americans. That yeah. there's there's so in. They, they don't know how many they slaughtered. Right. <laughs> Too many to count. <laughs> Countless Native Americans. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, w- the hypocrisy doesn't end. Never ends. No. So, just stop acting like you're approaching 
things from like I'm this year <laughs> I'm <girl>. giving <laughs> for this award ceremony to millionaires. <laughs> We're going to everyone's a millionaire. Except maybe Trayvon might not be. Maybe though. No, maybe. Um, no, you don't Gonna get money be? for it. He I, yeah, I don't fucking know. Look him up. I'm kidding. I'll ask him. I'll Net see him at worth, the. I'll Trayvon. see him at the bank. If I see him at the right bank, I'll know. Um, <laughs> so I don't. So congrats to all the winners. I I feel like Kaluya had a good spirit about it. Like he just yeah, kind of held the, like a yeah. What? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got got an award. Like got got an award. You know, like doesn't so make him all Notting Hill. Yeah. Um. So, you know, good. good but I'm happy. It's not going to hurt any of them. It hurts no. the women generally. As, the, as yeah, that's the good news. The women. If you're get, old enough, it's now. Francis McDormand, more the same. Yeah. Anthony Hopkins, more the same. Um, the average voter, sixty three. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> it's so so funny. like right there, like what are you guys it's, campaigning for? What is it with the Grammys? I don't know. Probably something similar. Something similar. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's again. Yes. Fucking knows. Uh, so um, b best best be best be best. <laughs> be best to all the winners congrats I hope it meant to those of you that it meant something to I hope that that meaning grows and to the people who had it in perspective like Kaluuya uh, and I think the Lucas Brothers I, I think they all did I don't fucking know fuck them Neil's gotta catch a train I, I got an A27 <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, oh! Armenia just went genocide. You, you know how really albums excited. go platinum. You just, you sound so Armenia excited. went genocide. They finally, Joe Biden finally acknowledged that uh, that the Turks slaughtered the Armenians, and I've been hearing about this a long time. 106th anniversary. Um, yeah, and it's the first time an American president has referred to it as a genocide. And for his troubles, the Kardashians, one of the Kardashians thanked him. So let that be a lesson to the rest of world leaders. If you want to get thanked by a Kardashian, <laughs> call, it a, call it a genocide. I don't know very much about this. Been hearing about it a long time. 106 years. 106 years I've been hearing You've been about hearing it. hearing about it. <laughs> um, you went to the premiere, I went to the premiere of, of genocide. the genocide. <laughs> um, and... Feels old. Just between 800 and 1.2 oh. Armenian men, and no, not even men, worse than worse than men, women, Armenian women, children, elderly and infirmed were sent on death marches Yeah, in the Syrian desert. Uh, I see the word rape, I see the word massacre, uh, another wave, 200,000. We're looking, we're getting somewhere between around, I'm going to put that number around 1.5. Mm. Un Underreported? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a long standing thing. Tur Turkey doesn't want to say they um, committed genocide and then no one goes against Turkey. So I don't, I'm like good. It's, you know what made me realize even on a small level, human to human, we need acknowledgement of things. Mm -hmm. You could be, we can be in a relationship and you can beat my ass every day. But if I say, you hit me, you're abusing me. You're like, I no, did. I yeah. didn't. No, that's not abuse. I don't know why it fucks with someone. That may be why, but it may be why when a guy does that, like, baby, no, I fucked up. I'm yeah. sick. And it's like, he acknowledged it. Yeah, that's it probably why heart. it works. It does, because people want to be acknowledged. That's why... Sometimes you wonder, like, it almost seems crazy and insignificant why black people are like, just admit yeah. it's racist. Yeah. When there's all the evidence in the world. Well, it's what Trevor always says the difference between South Africa and America is, is they didn't pretend they weren't racist in South yeah. Africa. They just didn't. They were like, yeah, no, you're not. You're not as good as us. Right. So we've got just different laws and sewer, you know, pipes got different infrastructure. So. Whoops. I, <laughs> and right, he said it, it was better. He said it was straight up better. I think mentally it's... That's, you're not going... You don't quite... You're not being gaslit. I hate it. You know, I hate the word gaslit. I know. Just as a, but sometimes they're... Sometimes you're being gaslit. Um, and they're not being... So you're not crazy. 
you're not crazy. And I think everybody wants that. Even in Europe, I, it felt like the racism was a little more overt, but in a completely different, I don't know, it's just digested differently. I'm not saying it's better or worse, but it was like black skinned person. You know, it was just, it was like- It's they, they're cheating and they don't pretend they're not. Yeah, no, we're just, I'm just, thinking about South different. Africa. It's like, you're no, different. We're cheat we, yeah. no, no, we're cheating. So, and you go, oh, they're cheating. Then yeah, you can South all live Africa your life like, cheating. but yes, um, it's, it's a buddy of mine was asking, he's like, I, I'm, I have a woman coming in for the weekend. How do I make her not fall in love? Right. <laughs> and I said, you, under 48 hours is good. It's Friday late afternoon <laughs> to Sunday early afternoon. You'll keep it under 48. <laughs> and, and when you talk, you need to have like a statement of intentions up front. Okay, what's that look like? I, this is what I told him. It's, tell, be honest and put the word feelings in every third sentence. I'm... I. My, I feel like I don't want to jeopardize mm. your feelings. Mm. So I need to be mindful of that. And I want to approach this with your feelings being sort of on a pedestal. I mean, you don't say on a pedestal, but like, you know, and you just go, you feelings, you feelings, you, you, you. And you're basically acknowledging and therefore you don't know they can't get mad because you brought up feelings it, and feelings. You can't argue with someone's feelings. Right. That's the, that's, that's the beauty the of feelings. Weird conundrum where it's like, you can't oh. argue with it. If I have a feeling I can't, people abuse that shit. That's how I feel. No, of course, well, <laughs> morons and, and manipulators, the two M's, um, <laughs> they, they, they will M's. manipulate it. But, if you just mention the feelings and I'm, I, my worry is your feelings will be hurt if blank, blank, blank. And people go, I was hurt. It's that, that, that uh, hostage negotiator who said the most important thing after he, people be yelling, and I want that, da, 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 and he would go, if I hear you correctly, what you're saying is, and mm. just read them back. And he said, a high percentage of the time they would stop the the they would let the hostages go just because they were heard yeah um so armenia you got heard now stop it i don't know what you're i don't know what stop you're doing what? i don't even know the it does hurt jam. our white eugenics argument though because it i don't know if i don't think turkey turks are white or armenians are white wait what's going on here what do you mean that they're that the white people caused most of the slaughters of the last hundred years no, for sure. But uh, I think the problem is... The By the way, emailed, a million... If a white people slaughtered a million people, you wouldn't even hear about it. That's like for <laughs> white people, brown? those are garbage numbers. Know. Those That's are garbage like, numbers for white people. It's like, <laughs> please, a million numbers. people, the fuck out of here. Uh, no, I think it, the, what he was saying, the emailer was mm -hmm. saying that it's not only white people. There's plenty of people doing it to each other. But our point was... And I'm uh, like, honestly, I don't know if he could make that argument as he like, emailed back this. and was sort of like all right and then kind of reiterated it but to he, the point where i didn't even put it on the list because no, it's just too long but think about it like if he watched eliminate all the birds openly and really under yeah. tried to open it's a lot of information mm -hmm. it's really hard to walk away with that much information these people have dedicated their lives showing systemically how uh white supremacy and all that stuff yeah. has oppressed a lot of people and through genocide through yeah. a, a lot of ways it's really hard to walk away from that and be like, ridiculous arguments, you know? Well, I, I think we narrowed the argument to recency. Re, the re, right. uh, our bias was recent, right? which is a common bias. But I think other than this small blemish on our argument, that's how I see the Armenian genocide is a blemish <laughs> no, on I'm me. I'm not about to stand by um, other than this. No, it is a blemish <laughs> on me and our argument. I know. He made you look bad, <laughs> Joe Biden, by acknowledging this. <laughs> Um, That's Armenia, funny. you've been heard and Turkey, uh, I have a funny Turk. It's a funny Dave Chappelle story. So Come you're on. welcome. Ring the bell. We should have a, some kind of Dave story. Dave bell. Bell. 
if you can think of it, send it in. Um, he was once in Turkey mm. at a Four Seasons or something, and he in the bar, and he overheard an American congressman talking to a bunch of locals, and the American congressman said, "We love the turkeys." <laughs> So that that happened. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, um, Caitlyn Jenner's running for is going to run against Gavin. Gavin Newsom. Which is um, here's all I want to say about Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> People doesn't get enough credit. People don't acknowledge this enough. Bad personality. <laughs> Very boring. Basic. Simplistic. Not interesting person. Not interesting in the slightest. In the news a lot in my life. As Bruce mm. and then as Caitlin. And it's I think it's 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 uh pretty clear that, that Caitlin's not interesting because she had a reality show that didn't do well. And it's like What do what, you mean, the Kardashians? No, he she had a show after that. Oh, I am yeah. Caitlin, I believe. Um, and Not. yeah, I'm Kate. Yes. Uh, yes. I am Kate. Ugh, uh, even the font and the photo is boring. Yeah. I don't, it also doesn't look like what it, I am. I am Kate. It just looks I, like a I'm cancer a, I'm ad. A cat. It says That's how I'm they a cat. tell you that you have cancer. <laughs> I am Kate. They just hand hey, you that. Listen, that font. I am Kate. Um, so yeah, <laughs> two seasons you're from the Kardashians. You were the most popular, one of the most popular athletes of the seventies. And then you got to, you changed gender and you still couldn't get ratings. <laughs> and you're still like boring. fucking hang it up, hang it up. Yeah. She just, I, and by it, I mean your male genitals, <laughs> Wait, Neil, which she did. I just don't it like the ego on certain people. What makes you think you are qualified? I don't know. A lot of, I feel like there's a lot of, on state level, in government, I think some unqualified people can come. They, you know, I mayor, think, yeah. gov, like, I don't know what's the qualifications yeah. to make a great mayor or a great governor, but I don't know if she has them. Someone who was affiliated know. with government in some form and then was like, I think I could do this. Yeah. I right. could be I like if you're a lawyer, you're a Something. public, you're whatever. You're 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 a lawyer who deals with the municipality a lot. Yeah, it's like, like yeah, like something affiliated, not Olympic athlete, announcer, Chris Jenner's husband, transgender. Right. That's none of that goes. Yep. Governor. I think next stop governor. I would have bought it more in 1977. Right. When after the Olympics. Um, so but also the thing is, so the the what is it? It's like a gubernatorial rate. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know the words, but. Um, so they recalled him because of all the conservatives in America, in California didn't like his policies of like shutting California yeah. and not letting us open. Now that things are opening, mm -hmm. they have the, they have the like, signatures. they got the signatures. Yeah. They got the signatures a long time ago. I but signed it twice. Go ahead. <laughs> Neil. So the whole, no, but it's good. It's corrupt. <laughs> Negative. Yeah, it yeah. just cancels it's, it out. No, it's, it's, uh, they have to throw the whole thing out and start out. So, I so, it <laughs> so I, um, I was reading that there's, First of all, now that we're opening, most people don't care because mm -hmm. that's how dedicated people are to their like moral compass yeah, and politics. It's just, like, oh, things are good for the, me now. It's just like, I want to turn care. the heat on. <laughs> just like you weren't going to kill the landlord. You just were cold. Right. Exactly. Like, yeah. It's So uh, now it's opening and it's going to be opening more and people care a lot less and a lot of people run in these kind of things. Mm hmm. So it's not going to be Gavin Newsom versus Caitlyn Jenner. It's going to be Gavin Newsom versus 15 weirdos. Yeah. Hopefully they're as interesting as Caitlyn. And by <laughs> interesting, I mean not at all interesting. <laughs> hey, will you scroll up, Will? Okay. I saw something. Yeah, and then go back back 
a page. You you had something up that I found interesting. Oh, her net worth. Did you see what? Caitlin's net worth? Mm-mm. It was on the one of the here. wiki pages. I saw that. A hundred million dollars? What? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um how well, the fuck she have so much money? That's so much money. Uh I well, first of all, who knows if it's true. They got well, she got she got paid every episode of the Kardashians. That's not where she made the money. But uh just weird. I'm sure that's wrong. Oh, 2014 estimate. Right. I'm sure that's wrong. But not like things have happened well since then. You know, she probably spent 80 on the <laughs> on the gender stuff. Uh just on the hormones. Oh, I had an interesting thing. So Dude, you're it's born, in 19, uh, born William Bruce Jenner. 1949. Yeah, he's 71. Now that he's a woman, uh, now that she's a woman, will she get that two year life expectancy bump that women get? <laughs> You got to think about it. Something like <laughs> you. I'm look. I'll cover all the angles, Bianca. Um, also, it said that LGBT activists are not excited about her. They ne- no. She, she they was like against her. gay rights, like and and transgender rights. Like you have to a, have a he, base. What's she's the base? An idiot. What's... She's not smart. Mm. And it sounds misogynistic now. Yeah. But now that you're now you got the gen- ago, now you got the pronouns right. Five years ago. There was a man who looked a lot like her, and I didn't think he was smart. Okay. So. Consistency. Um, <laughs> Neil's putting his hands up. He clapped and put his hey, hands up. Like. Don't take it elsewhere. <laughs> Moving on. I don't want to hear it. Did you hear uh, the Twitter outrage about Elon Musk hosting SNL? Uh, yeah, I do wonder what's going on here. I didn't. They, it's a thing they did. George Steinbrenner hosted. Steve Forbes hosted. It's yeah. just a thing that that uh, it's like part of. It's a type of person that Lauren will have on, and I. The fact that people are upset about it is uh, embarrassing. And there's no outrage when the Baja men came on SNL. Was the, is that true? <laughs> Yeah, of course. I mean, I feel like I just feel like SNL is like they take whoever's they in the whoever's news. in the news. Yes, that's correct. Know. So, but people saying that it's I don't even know. So they're mad that he's conservative. I don't know. He we talked about this a couple weeks shit. ago. I will say he he's, says dumb shit. He says dumb he's shit. done more for climate change than anyone alive. Mm. So I kind of don't care. <laughs> The good he's done for climate change, you you almost can't un literally the good he's done for climate change, you can't undo with tweets. Yeah. Literally, there's not a tweet he could make that's that's worse than the good he's done. I don't think his per- personality wise, he's super interesting. He's a fucking goofball. He's a dork who's trying to be right. cool. That's what he's doing. And those those people make me very. They just yeah, it's, it's, just it's corny. Uh, what They're just very call, corny. What the kids call cringe. Cringe. So cringe. Uh, so uh, yes, if he. Wanna... If once you know what he is, yes, is he? Does he try to be cool and say like cool shit? And name his kid a symbol and all. And I'm with Grimes and it. He's he is a scientific genius. Yeah. So. Whatever. I don't I, all this other shit is like you're not gonna believe this people not having their priorities straight then getting right. like so what you're mad that they're letting him host a sketch comedy show I for one Bianca am flying in and gonna write for it no you're not that's correct I am not okay yeah, it's like you uh, are I hope they go though. I feel like okay. I, every to, line I would write is uh, uh, Elon, and then in parentheses botches line, and then the <laughs> and then the line because <laughs> um, he's just gonna botch it. He's gonna botch uh, everything. Like, do, oh, oh no, I think it's very Kyle Dunnigan's, Kyle Dunnigan's is Elon Musk is it's, it's too outstanding. Good. Uh, but I also I hope SNL don't is, look it up for some reason. <laughs> You uh, looked up 75 <laughs> things, won't look up comedy video that will, you hit play, we can listen to it, Will. All right. 
This is Joe Biden oh, and wait. Elon. Oh, everything I love. Elon with Caitlyn Jenner is so funny. Elon, Joy B here. Wish you a congratulations on your face space launch. A big deal, man. Not not face space. It's face, face sex. Not, it's, 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 it's space <laughs> sex launch. Uh, cool. Sorry, who, who's this? Joey B, former vice principal under Barack Tobogans. Come on, man. President erect. Oh, cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted <laughs> with COVID-19. <laughs> Kids will do that to you. I, I think you think of my son AXF-12. Great. So you get the idea. Yeah, you, get it. you get the idea. He Kyle's does want the one with Caitlyn Jenner and Elon Musk is so funny. Yeah. It's so good. But yeah, so uh, I don't know. Yeah, Great. I just Who don't can, care. Like, I don't care. It's he fucking is he created the greatest electric car by a factor of a thousand. Mm. So shut the fuck up. How about that, everybody? No, that's how I feel about right it. Now. I, um, yeah, did he call a guy a pedo because he was trying to be cool and funny? Yeah, he's just a he's a he's fucking a dork. dork. All of his mistakes are unforced errors trying to be a dork. Is he anti-union? Yes. I don't care because the thing that he's anti-union about is the only company helping the environment. Mm. So if you got to be anti-union about something, be about electric cars anti-union. Oil, you can't host SNL. <laughs> electric cars. He's putting his foot down. It's The address is 30 Rockefeller Center. The entrance on Don't 49th and 50th Shh. Street, depending on which part of the city you're coming from. One uh, 50th Street goes east, 49th goes uh, west. So that and Fifth Avenue goes south. And uh, should I go on? Anyhow, uh, the LA, the uh, Bianca, you, oh, well, Shock G died. On. The one who put the sat on I know, panties. I know. Um, Shock G died. And which, Have you met him? I don't think I have. Come on, think. He wait. He's known as Humpty Hump, Piano Man, Rackadelic, MC Blowfish, Gregory Racker, Icy Mike. I didn't know all this. Uh, you didn't really need to. I don't think that jit got a dolphin nose. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he produced "I Get Around," one of the my favorite hip hop songs ever. Certainly my favorite Tupac song. Um, what about when your homies call? No, I'm not. I have, you know, I have a complicated know, relationship okay. with Tupac. Um, and, but I get around as a fucking killer. I get around so good. And I'll say this for uh, Shock G. Seemed like a nice guy. Seemed so, he seemed, seemed fun. Seemed like a very fun guy. He seemed fun. Even I could see that. Someone who's not fun <laughs> and doesn't, is funny, but is not fun. Um, don't did invite do, me to your party. Do you ever do the Humpty Dance? Uh-uh. I was too, this is one of those things where everyone was in high school and I was not. You were in high school and grade school and I was an adult who I was didn't not do dance styles. Okay. So. Feels that's true. correct. Um, that so, goes. so, oh, no. uh, you know, uh, the, my thought was with DMX and, and Shock G and uh, Black Rob dying mm. in the same week, I had the thought. So, so what it looks like the way this is going to happen is just everyone dies and then I die. Is that how life goes? <laughs> That's my understanding. Am I, un, am I misunderstanding this in some way? <laughs> everyone slowly dies around me and then eventually it's, you. it's me. It's my turn. That is kind of cruel when you think about that. Life? Totally agree. Rat race. No, uh, just you. St I don't think like that right now, but at a certain age, you start seeing people your age, yeah. your peers, people that. Yeah. Just falling. Where out. it's not. I mean, Louis did a joke about it where it's like, it's not. Uh, it's he's at the age where if he dies, it's not going to be a tragedy. <laughs> it's, yeah. Where it's like, oh, he lived how a did good he die? Life. I don't know. It's hard to do something. <laughs> And you go, okay. Are you less uh, are you less obsessed with mortality after old Hiya? spirits? Um yeah. Well now I don't I mean now I know I don't even believe. I know that I'm an eternal spirit that will is just in this body for um a finite fixed amount of time. Mm. And same with Shakti, he's in the he's flying around. 
It's um, flying around. Yeah, it's flying around. Uh, but yeah, that I but I I still don't. I still prefer not to. Bird in the hand. <laughs> Life is a bird in the hand. It's like that. Ah, I believe that I'm that it's you know eternal spirits. Um, but yeah, nah, bird in the hand. It's, Do you have a preference of how you want to go? On top. I want to go out on, on top. top of who the haters. Um, <laughs> okay. No, uh, how do I want to die? I, I guess just Aya. No, I'm not going to die. Aya from Aya. No, no, I'm just I'm saying, not. would that be? Uh, what's your dream? Yeah, that. Yeah, because that's where you're going to be anyway. Like that's you're going there. So sleep. I don't see dying in your sleep scary to me. How come? Because. This is sleep. This is just, it's its own thing. Why do I have to die? And I already, sometimes dreams feel like you're going to die. I don't want that to come true. Yeah, but you don't know what happens. I want to die. I want to freeze to death. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I want to freeze to death. <laughs> because when you freeze to death, there <laughs> is a, a, your brain starts releasing all of the, uh, the DMT, the DMT, the serotonin, it, you are in a euphoric, the most happy state you'll ever be because your body knows you're dying. It's like, just for someone who doesn't it. love drugs, that's a very surprising thing to say. I know. And then you feel warm. You don't feel cold, which is very important to me. You're very, it's very important to every woman. <laughs> and apparently Neil. Yeah. Um, you're very happy. You don't feel it. You just are in the, all the euphoric positivity your brain ha like holds in it in different places, it just floods you with it. It's pretty good if you had to I, go out. Real, hearing yours, I realize how I want to die. How, how, how? I want to get my head chopped off. Let's move on. <laughs> get, get the guillotine. <laughs> no, just uh, like industrial. A accident. hack? Just a, a hack blade. Job? So I'm going to blade chops my head clean off. <laughs> <laughs> and then clean it spurts, 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 collapse. <laughs> It spurts for like three beats. Well, so is your head still not body, realizing? Is your head like... Oh. Your, uh, my head's still talking. Your head's still My head's still bits. looking for someone to cut off in conversation. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Um, Kat's been pretty bad with pointing out the amount of times that I cut people off. And by people, her. Because we just talk all the time. Um, so that's uh and then the la homeless got a good ruling what happened to they people? all need to be offered housing oh yes i saw that um this is one of those things where the difference between homeless and unhoused is it's what they call a distinction without a difference like mm, just okay what do you okay do you need a place to stay or not? It's like, is that the priority? Uh, overseeing a sweeping lawsuit about homelessness ordered the city and county to find shelter for all unhoused residents. It's only Skid Row, though. So it's your people down there. Fuck you, I don't it's live your, in Skid Row. You're down there, vigilante camera. <laughs> yeah. Vigilante selfie It is. Unit. Okay. They're, I don't live there. Um, Ew. A fiery 100-page order from the judge. <laughs> Slammed officials' inability to restrain the unprecedented growth of homelessness that is seen in camp that spread into near nearly ever. Somebody made the observation that they could take a lot of them are in hotels. The and, uh, project turnkey or room key? Yeah. So if you, some of these hotels aren't gonna probably didn't survive the pandemic, but they these buildings still exist. Yeah. There's a lot of just empty rooms where yeah. people can be yeah and I, i'm all for it the problem is that so like at echo park there was a huge um homeless encampment and they cleared it with like riot police but you know what's funny so that i read about it 200 homeless people all of them they all got reassigned homes no they i know all, that's what i was about to say yeah but the problem was the protesters who, none of the homeless people were protesting. No, people were, pro no, no. So the difference is that, so there were, there was only like less than a hundred people who didn't uh, take the housing voucher. And it's because the housing vouchers are really strict. So yeah. you can't bring in, um, you can't bring certain, like a lot of their possessions, they can't bring with them, obviously. Yeah. 
but it puts them in a predicament because that's all their shit. Mm -hmm. And they have to, they just have to agree to a lot of things. And so those people opted out. So I did try to tell people when we, when it was being discussed, like the city did offer them housing. It's not yeah. that they didn't, it's that they, not everybody could, were in a position to take that housing because of the rules. So then those people stayed. Well, if you say in a position, it's preference. It's preference, but I don't know their, I don't, I'm not going to go out of my way to speak on their possessions. I don't know what they have that they right, can't. What I'm saying, of. well, first of all, there's a lot of homeless people near me right now. And I got to say, you know who I would like to see intervene with some of these homeless people? Maria Kondo. Because these motherfuckers have a lot of shit. They have a lot of shit. And they need to decide if it inspires <laughs> joy or not. And then get rid of it. Because there's a, it's like used this a lot of shit. Within a year? In Have you used this tin <laughs> uh, fucking bicycle yeah. rim? Have you used this? Oh, it's my, get your hands off my bicycle rim. No. We're going to decide today. Ah, all right. I don't need it. I it just, seems like a lot of that. That again, I'm being funny. No, you're being funny. I just, I, I don't, I don't use that wording to be overly cautious. I just don't fucking know. I don't know if they have medical Medicaid. I don't. Know. It's a bigger issue, know. which is I don't want to live under someone else's rules. I just don't. Meaning that's this what country, most people, aka this country. It's I was. You know how you always think. Uh, where handicapped people will be defensive like no i got it like i got the door i got the it's kind of a similar thing of like i don't want to have to deal with you picking my chair up mm -hmm. like i don't want like i don't want with me. i don't want anyone to pick me up right as an adult i don't want you to pick anyone but that's what happens is when you have money and you're in different class you want all your freedoms but when someone is seen as like a nuisance or a problem. We just like police government take their option away. But I, I, don't, so I don't, I feel like part of it's legal shit. Meaning if I, if I'm the government get, uh, nobody wants people in their neighborhood living on the sidewalks. No, of course. Right. It's a nuisance. It's a health risk. It's a bunch of shit. Yeah. It's a eyesore. It's a bunch of shit. Um, so as much as it's like rich people going like police, it's nobody wants it. So they, so then, so then you go, okay, so the municipality has to go to them and say, all right, we're going to give you a new place to stay. Mm. There's all sorts of legal ramifications on the municipality of course. when you kind of force someone into a housing situation that, so I'm sure their list of shit you can't do is, I, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say it's largely to avoid lawsuits. I think the reason why it's such a problem, especially in L.A., is because it's a really hard problem to solve. Mm -hmm. So I I don't fully understand it. I uh, My only solution is find a city that improved their homeless situation and analyze what they did. I don't know. That's like all I can think of. Find Newark, by the way, didn't fire this Newark... PD Camden. didn't fire it. No, Newark also. Oh yeah, didn't Newark fire too. a yeah, shot yeah. last year. That, no, it's like they're both doing. And, yeah, but no, what? That's the weird thing. I'm like, why aren't we talking about the experimental pilot programs that work? And it's hard. It's hard to manage people. Mm -hmm. People are hard to manage. It's also hard to governments and there's like turf wars. Mayor and Chicago. Mate, it's again, Lord Lightfoot. We're all Lightfoot now. <laughs> We're Lightfoot. <laughs> um. Everybody light foot. Everybody do the light foot. <laughs> That's a dance I've done. <laughs> um, now, so, oh, I also had a thought about racism. Come on now. Which is what makes me good at writing about it is that I bring a rational mind to an irrational thing. Okay. But I think a, the mistake I make with racism is trying to approach it l like it's rational. Right. And it's like, this is not rational. So you're trying to bring a fucking logic to a emotion fight. It's like it's a fucking cra it's all crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Right. So there's I sometimes I give. I approach it like, well, you're being lo it's, no one's logical. Or when you do make a little headway with logic, it there's just there's yeah, there's a some tsunami they will of, jump it. 
and go, well, we didn't like that outcome. He should have been charged with something. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. Murder seems a little rough for murdering that guy. Well, what did he do? Yeah. Moving on. Um, so, and uh, congratulations, dirtbags in New York. They made prostitution less illegal in New York City. They're not, Illegal it's or? again, I thought it was, they like legalized it. It's just one of these things where it's decriminalized. It's they've, they will no longer prosecute prostitution and unlicensed massage. Really? Which, unlicensed massage. First of all, little... I think I've been guilty of giving a few unlicensed massage in my Neil. day. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I gave, gave unlicensed a little five massages. against one, a little, a little Joe Biden. The old Joe Biden special. They offer that at a lot of the massage parlors now. It's just a Joe Biden where you sit in the chair and out of nowhere, a guy comes up and just rubs you. Um, I learned a lot. <laughs> uh, so I it, I thought it, the headline made me believe that it was going to be Dirtbag Central, but it's, it's, it's still, they're just not prosecuting certain shit. There, a lot of it had to do with trans rights mm. where they were it was like walking while trans was what they called yeah. the the law so i don't it seems better I, but i don't know exactly how because if you scroll even a little keep going uh they would i don't i don't understand it's one of these things where it's a lot they're still prosecuting pimping pimps and johns but not which is like, I, I don't know. I don't understand it. I think it's because the women in the situation get prosecuted way yeah. at like a higher rate. Yeah. So, uh, but I read about this and a lot of advocacy, advocacy groups say that decriminalization is actually better than legalization because legalization does drive up the uh, black market, so to say, like right. So decriminalization more black just... customers. <laughs> That's why you went. Go ahead. Uh, so I think from what everything I read, it's good, better. Yeah, not good. Yeah, better. it's yes, it's better. I don't. It seems like we need to figure. We have some more work to do <laughs> in figuring it out. Like I, I still, you know, Mike. There are guys that cannot have sex with women. And we kind of punish them. Meaning they're the guys that no woman wants to have sex with. Right. But in this situation, we're punishing the woman. That, far yeah, greater. no, I'm saying you know what I mean? make it all, make everything legal except the John, uh, except the pimp part. Right. But the problem is that people get, I don't know, from what I understand, it's not always just. A bunch of dudes that can't get late, you know? Of course not. I, but, but I'm, my point is if you make the pimping illegal, um, and I'm sure the pimps will, the guy sent in a, a idea about the pimps. Pimp um, pimp. but the, if it's two consenting adults, I don't give a fuck. You, no, no, no. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. It's not like, well, this will lead. It doesn't. A lot of slopes just are slopes. Mm. They're not slippery. <laughs> you can just, they're just a slope that you walk down. It's just a gradient. Yeah, it's just a grade. It's nothing. How, whoa, it's not. You just go walk down the slope. <laughs> okay. It's fine. When they made, you know, when they have zoning laws, it wasn't like, and now we can't build houses. Right. No, you just have laws. Some Sometimes a slope is a slope is a slope. <laughs> Um, so rest in power, Queens, the, yes. the, the sex workers in Queens. Um, now yes. doc, watch? doc watch, I watched Sasquatch on Hulu. It was very interesting because you think it's basically about this guy who was in Humboldt in the nineties and a tweaker ran in to this house. I was like, dude. Fucking Sasquatch just killed these farm workers at some weed farm down the street. And he never could get that um, 
story out of his head and he's like a pretty good journalist from what i read mm -hmm. like he ha he went undercover and like the neo-nazis he also did a piece where he was sexually assaulted and he in his adult life started stalking his the guy who sexually assaulted him and like did a whole piece for maybe new york times i'm not sure um but yeah so he was like a very interesting respectable journalist and he had this story that he never could get out of his head and so he went he set out to figure out is there a sasquatch mm -hmm. because that story happened and then it's him deep diving into the seedy ass world of uh mendocino humboldt weed farming like out in the woods i didn't realize until i watched i watched a documentary called murder mountain mm -hmm. like a few years ago or maybe last year and that's when i realized how fucked up it is in the like um in those hills where they they grow a lot of pot in california and so he went back and had to track down hay like track down the guy track down the farm try to track it on the tweakers track down everything to see about sasquatch went and you think it's going to be about sasquatch yeah i still do it is it goes it, it starts exploring bit, like yeah. could this be sure. okay people say they've seen him up there they do that famous video whatever and it goes to so many it's i can't tell you what happens okay. but they, it, they but it's interesting it's, it's interesting it doesn't feel meandering it is it's it's only three episodes so it's Great. good done um they he finds the guy he says he's like does a story about blank 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 ring a bell the guy's like yeah that story's real and then and also everyone is a criminal in this like everyone's like no do not use my name do not put me on like everyone is it's so seedy i did not realize what was going on in the mountains yeah of northern california i did not realize the amount of just human corruption <laughs> if humans are there it's gonna be corrupt <laughs> so that's sad. it like that's it that's why uh, american government when it works works well because it is constant looking checking each other mm, for corruption we can't not be corrupt yeah that's it. We can't. We're incapable of it. Like it takes you have to be kind of a crazy person to not be corrupt. Literally, it's I mean, that's why when people are like Zen Buddhists or something like, come on. Well, that there's that. Come on. There's I believe the, in anyone, Zen Buddhism. Again, by anyone the way. advertising their righteousness is automatically disqualified. <laughs> um, but there's because because of the thing that me and Kat are working on it's just a lot of looking at certain woke people and and my argument for most of these against really anyone but they're holding up there i said if most of these people were confronted with the the option of help yourself help the movement mm. they're all helping themselves 100%. The, it's, which is human nature so and the only people who are are uh will help the movement are people that are fucking a little crazy <laughs> wait wait they're bipolar they're like a chemically no, hold on what, what movements are we talking about here uh, most movements even when it's you know civil rights i feel like you civil rights you're the into like i don't think malcolm x or martin luther king or bipolar <laughs> or, and, like, Andrew wait, Young or any of those people movements? but what i mean is so it's those types of people yeah. that are truly righteous that are like Navalny now is on a hunger strike because right. he's a fucking a little crazy. So you need someone who's a little crazy to actually be for this shit. Well, yeah. If you want uh, to actually not be corrupt, you have to be a little insane. It's uh, it, the the level of cor corruption just and i get it it's weed it's the even they're saying how legalizing it it's kind of similar with the sex workers the now you know there's like a legalized industry of weed mm -hmm. it's made the black market even bigger well yeah the thing they just, didn't account for with weed is tax ta if you if you one tax party's taxing it the other party's not right i'm going to the other party of course so and there, it's just all those people it's like the old west. It's like don't come up here. Yeah. Um. 
don't because no one wants to get Robin, they go back when a lot of shaky handheld of him running off people's property. (laughs) There's a lot. They go. (gasps) 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think we got away. A lot of that. Um, They deep dive into the hippies that kind of founded those places and the the DEA kind of just seizing. And then that's changed the hippie vibe of Mm -hmm. like everyone welcome stop no guns it's like okay so i just grew these crops for a year so my kids can eat and you you just just raised them you just took them in an hour yeah and then they started having ar-15s and automatic weapons and next thing you know the confederate flag shows up for some reason for some reason and then the hip some of the hippies are like that's not what this was about man so now up there you don't go sniffing. You don't just go for a casual stroll and be like, hey, how's it going, yeah. neighbor? No, what do you want? You'll get shot up there. Even now. It's so take that mixed with lore, mixed with racism, mixed with classism. It's just it's more interesting than the title. I believe that. Okay. All right. I'll have a look at David it. David Hothouse. That's what his name. David Hothouse, guys. <laughs> not not a fake, not a fake <laughs> not weed a fake name. name. Um, let's do some emails, huh, guys? It's time to check that email. I like how the email song is probably 15 seconds, and we both take the op- the opportunity to check our phones. <laughs> yes. It's 15 seconds for me. This is my opportunity. Sometimes you do it during the show. Well, that's only when it's very... Know that I only do it if it's <laughs> okay. very important. Um... Oh, okay. So what do we what song, do we got? Song, we got an song. Attaboy Bird song. Attaboy Bird. That was like love Detroit it. House. That was that was I believe Chicago. Is this Chicago? Yeah, I Are think. We? That they were Chicago techno. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, that kind of um, I believe you. Uh that was from Richie Acevedo. Which sounds Richie. Chicago. Um, and I believe he sampled Rick Ross at the end, which is going to cost everybody a lot of money. <laughs> no samples, guys. It's cute, but uh, they get us taken down. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yes. Very funny. Yep. That's we have really a winner funny. with that long sustain at the end. It was long, end. but it was good. Long. Mm, mm, mm. That's from Eric Schlicht. 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 Um, if you really want to know. Sounds racist. Eric Schlicht. Um, Schlicht. 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 Uh, feels like that last name doesn't <laughs> like Jews. Neil, That's all up. I'm saying. <laughs> Anyhow, go ahead. This is his other song, Eric. What are white people doing? <laughs> well, Here's the thing like that, that it used to be what are what are these white people doing? These? And then it became what are white people doing? Yeah, now it's a little more. If I don't wanna I mean it's been wrong since the beginning. <laughs> it's never been right. And by the way, we don't call the whole podcast should just be called What These White People Doing. It really is. I mean, really, ultimately at Come the end on. of the day. Um so those are all winners. I, be, see you on the show. Yep. Thanks to Richie Acevedo and Eric Eric Schlitt. Schlicht. Seven Jewish people died Schlicht. when I said his, when I said that name. Um. Anyhow, here's a video question. You've got mail. Hey, Neil and Bianca. My name is Nicole. I'm from North Carolina, and here's my cat Orbison in the background. Question uh, to you both: Since doing ayahuasca or however you say it. Um, have you noticed a difference in your relationship with animals? Has your relationship with Keith maybe gotten a little deeper or weirder? Or uh, Binks, has, uh, have you had any encounters with animals that have been weird since then? I don't know if you have a dog or a cat. I don't think you do. Anyway, thank you guys for the show. Excellent. Um, cute. Cute. Keith and I... He sleeps closer to me than he's ever slept in seven years. Really? Yes. Yeah, he's up there all the time. Well, that's because he's afraid of the setup. Um, but he used to be down more. 
He's up when you're up. Yeah. It's, it's, I, he would, I had to move two nights ago because he was breathing in my face, which has <laughs> never happened before. That's so weird. And anyone who knows Keith knows he don't got good breath. No, he does not. Um, does. so, so he's sleeps very, he's, he's never slept closer to me and it's fucking very cute. <laughs> fucking very cute. I have a new idea for when I repeat something. Uh, just means that that story went into syndication. It's such <laughs> a good story. I syndicated it and I bring it up. I sell it to Hulu and they air it whenever they want. That is so thank I repeat stories too. You're like, you already tell me them. Yeah, it's, it's for a emphasis. It's a great story. It's for emphasizing. It's, it's Seinfeld. Some of my stories are Seinfeld. <laughs> it's so good. And we'll repeat it. It's syndicated. Goodbye. Um, You've got so, mail. Anyhow, another video. This is a What's from an electric on? car. This is a POV. <laughs> this is a POV of Sky. so your live life as a cuck in an electric car. I'm kidding. Go ahead. That Anilio! Like <laughs> Casablanca. <laughs> Hi. Rolling down the road here in a semi-autonomous vehicle. Yep. I got an aftermarket unit that works with a lot of cars. I got 1,275 miles on the car. I just got it. And, uh, Bought it to drive cross country and is this a Craigslist video? What's happening? Mode. Neil, I know you got a Tesla. <laughs> Would like to know your opinion on self driving. Do you trust it? Do you put your Tesla in autonomous mode when you're on the freeway? Got you guys up on the laptop here. Oh, Jesus. Do not crush. He has so much technology. Well, just listen to the podcast and uh, Neil side. I think he's a cop. This looks like a cop car. Um, I <laughs> there was another. Um, crash yeah. tesla crash no one was in the driver's seat yeah it's just dumb people this is what they do they get in the driver's seat they put on autonomous mode they click the seat belt they climb out of the seat with the seat belt still clicked and some people put like a you clamp on the something on wheel. the steering wheel because that's the thing you have to jiggle the steering wheel every 40 seconds right and then it used to be in i've talked about this 65 seconds and then there was one crash and they made it 50 then every crash, they it's like they're ruining it, basically. Right. So you're just like... You just got to jiggle. jiggle. I, look, I'm texting. Don't make me jiggle. Um, I don't get why you need to not be in the driver's seat. What's the desire? Well, you want to talk about truly ghost riding the whip. Come on. You're, these guys made it. They became ghosts <laughs> during oh, no. ghost riding the whip. <laughs> Um, they're infinite yeah. spirits. They're with Black Rob and X. DMX? And uh, by the way, the DMX fucking oh funeral God, procession so cool. with that the so monster funny. truck. So you know, Trump saw that was like, wait, we can like, do monster trucks. Um, <laughs> call up. Totally. I do. I know DMX. That's Have his. I met him? He's now Trump is like Biff Loman, and that's his death of a salmon. He's like death of a salmon. Death of a salesman. <laughs> it sounded like death of a salmon. Yeah, I'll come for you, um, Neil. You barely speak. Okay. Uh, rough, rough. Yeah, I mean, amazing. Like it's fucking so cool. hilarious. I, this is hilarious to me. It's so on. It's I, so on brand. It's, so on brand. it's like it. It's beyond brand. Show the coffin. The coffin is. I didn't even see the, the coffin. The coffin is wild. No, just show a photo of the coffin. <laughs> it's there. Look it's there. at Look. it, Bianca. <laughs> you. No, it's it's spectacular looking. It has like rough, right? It has just a, it looks like a 90s album. It That's has a great. lot of funny prints. Does it have it. the parent parental advisory sticker on it? That'd be <laughs> funny. Um, I heard they kept it behind the counter because it's a black coffin. Yeah. Anyone remember that? Anyone know what I'm talking about? They would keep black, they would keep hip hop records behind the counter at record serious? stores. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I that thought you that meant there. like black no. hair care products. No, they would Which keep they do. hip hop. And they used to keep half baked back there, and because like, it was a black. It was like, oh, okay. Um, you guys think it's now? We you know why he's well, predisposed. Yeah, well, of course, every the, everything's personal. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, they would keep uh, hip hop behind the counter, so you had to like, could I have? Wow. Yeah. Really? I mean, yeah, white people. I you try to think rationally. Don't bother. Don't bother. Uh, anyhow, we were talking we about. Talking about? Your car, Tesla. My car. Do I believe in self-driving? I do, but you just do it. You just jiggle it, and it's good for... It's your 30-second break. 
But what I understand is that the obviously the car can't see. So if it's a if there's no traffic, it's just gonna go through yeah, stop signs and stop lights. It, you can only do it on the freeway. You can't do it in. Yeah, you can't. It doesn't recognize stop signs. It doesn't. It's just freeway driving, speed and lane. That's mm. all it can do. So, uh, they, which it's very clear about. These guys are just idiots. Does it? Do you have to be going a certain miles per hour? Like, is mm -mm. it only? Uh, uh, you can start it at in traffic, mm. and just set the. You know, it's just good for traffic when you don't want to do the. Scoot. It's good for traffic, and it's good for going eighty on the 10 and you just want to look at your phone for a second does it, it make your cell phone habit worse has it made your cell phone uh habit? i don't know it's already so bad who knows do you have you used your cookie jar in a while i haven't what happened was okay your it's honor <laughs> okay y'all know me Please no i it. when i was doing the kevin commercial i had to turn it on because i had to deal with emails all day right. and then i haven't put the clamps back on yet even though it's been a week neil bought a cookie jar everybody that, else that's syndicated no. oh not a, you know it's yeah. he bought a cookie jar with a timer on it mm -hmm. and he puts his phone in there mm -hmm. and it worked uh, what did you, know. you do i started TV. a podcast <laughs> you bitch <laughs> you're on it Okay. Um, is that I did shit. I know the turn of the phone off. I wrote a, I wrote a ton of shit. Like it's. I just. There's an app called Freedom that just. I just haven't. I haven't turned it back on. But I have to turn it back on. Wait. Thanks what does it do? Me. Uh, it just blocks everything. You can't. I can get texts. That's it. But I can't check. I can't go on any internet. I can't. And it blocks my computer, and my phone at the same time. Wow. Really? Yeah. So I just have to read or work or write something. Pretty I good like stuff. I like nice it. job, Freedom. Anything else? Well, <laughs> goodbye. I love it. What a Come what on. a multimedia podcast we have. <laughs> You've got mail. Hey, so you both mentioned you don't know the police hiring process. Okay, so as quick as I can, you apply online. You'll then be scheduled to do a written and a physical test. In general, for smaller departments, these tests are a lot harder. You'll then have to interview in front of a panel with police officers and civilian employees. You'll then have to fill out a background packet, which is pretty much all the information in your life, ranges from all the places you've ever lived to all the bad shit you've ever done. Based off of that background packet, you will be asked questions in a polygraph exam. Then you go to a background interview with a background investigator who will ask you questions based off of that polygraph if you even pass it. Then he'll start his investigation, which will be three to six months long. During that time, you'll go and take another physical with the doctor to make sure that you're in shape and you can do the actual job. And then sometimes at the end, you'll have another interview with the chief of police or with the board of supervisors or whatever. But in general, becoming a cop is really fucking hard especially if you're an older person that has a lot of life experience and a lot of shit that you've done. It's really hard. It's hard, but it's not uh, in terms of training hard. It just feels like, have you done, have you fucked up? And uh, Or did you get caught fucking up? Did you get caught? It's almost just like a hard background. check. It's like a really high bar for background yeah. checks, but it's not... I that sounds like a pain in the ass. It's no, a no, bigger totally. pain in the ass than I imagined. No, fully. But I'm, I feel like we were talking about, you know, IQ. Um, do How much training do you get for the job? Not how hard is it to qualify for? Yeah. And that's interesting. I didn't know that, but yeah. I didn't hear anything about tactical training. Well, I don't. I guess they it's do, getting. They the, do training. I, I mean, know they, they do. do. Training, they just but, don't do. It's just not very long. Mm, like six months? No, I hear, I, I've heard four months. So uh, what is the cop IQ thing? People sent in the a few uh, a few police you ID know what's funny? emails. Six hundred. He wrote six hundred and sixty four hours to train for a cop to be a therapist. It's like three thousand. Oh, it's uh, to be a yoga instructor. It's a thousand. <laughs> it's like. What? So, 
next time a yoga instructor puts you in a chokehold, know that that chokehold is safe. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that is a safe chokehold. Uh, a bunch of people sent in emails, Will. But not Cora. Like, I think Will, there's... people sent in emails about it. Not audio emails. No, I'm saying no, just click on the email because the email has oh. links in it. Okay. <laughs> audio emails. Uh... A new thing. Okay, so this is the there people were sent in emails about um police IQ levels. Okay, so it's it, this is from 2000, but I think the law stands. A man whose bid to become a police officer was rejected after he scored too high mm. on an intelligence test and lost his appeal against the city. Oh my god, that's weird. He appealed cuz he's a he's got a high IQ. <laughs> Um, all right, this kind of puts an official face in discrimination in America. What did they? Can you give me some background? Scored thirty three points, the equivalent of an IQ of one hundred and twenty five. Only candidates who score, he scored thirty three on the cop exam, which right. is like one twenty five IQ, and only candidates who score between twenty and twenty seven can be cops because the theory is that those who scored too high could get bored with police work. Are you serious? That's so fucking funny. That's so funny. The, I didn't realize the answer would be so funny. That's fu I mean, it's like when Dave was like, they all should go to college. I'm like, you don't go, you don't become a cop. Once you, once you get an edge, like you need to be, it's funny that they assume that smart people will get bored. Because I don't see how you get bored when your life is on the line. But. Technically. Maybe. Uh, it's probably. It's not. You know. They're not in hand to hand combat every day. If they're good cops there. <laughs> Just finding. <laughs> the guys. real ones are. The weirdest thing is my neighbor That's in so college. That's so fucking weird. It's, but they do have bonuses. For police who have a bachelor's degree. I mean, they do. But that doesn't, that's not an IQ test. What they're no, saying no, I is know that. they don't want to train people because they're going to get, because if they have a high IQ, then they'll leave the police. No, I know what they're they'll saying. They'll leave the four. I, that sounds like bullshit. That sounds like. I feel like you can find examples where there's people with high IQs that ha they have no problem with them becoming police. I, I don't know how to find Yeah, it, but, but also what? it sounds like. They just don't want smart people doing it. If that's true, because that can't be an official reason. I mean, that the reason they have the law. What's the law? Is because that they don't want turn. They don't want to train them. And then they they learn the job and then leave. Right. But that's, again, sounds like bullshit. Yeah, there is a good documentary in this. Really? What's it called? Me, not, no, I'm not. I'm saying like in someone this. could make a good documentary about police. Just the pol like even that shit that people were saying last week about next, how it was like right? slave. Oh. It was all slave patrols that became. Mm. Mm. Um, I'm sure there's thousands of documentarians listening. They probably don't encounter this that often the high iq thing the high iq i'm like no i want to let me do it no well it's also like if you're there's a way to tank the test <laughs> so <laughs> you could go undercover <laughs> that's a smart 21 jump street that's a smart person no it's 20 it's a okay it's 20. fish out of water but it's a smart person as a cop that's he's so a, funny. he's out of he's used to Neil, being around smart people. Write the movie. I've just thought of two hits okay. in the last two minutes. <laughs> uh, we, by the way, we had some blowback um, from last week's, really from the clip of saying soccer players are hot. What was the problem? What was the reason? Harrison Barnes, NBA. Uh, he's a good NBA player. Mm -hmm. um, was. Felt dissed. Harrison. Harrison Barnes, who who plays for Sacramento, and is maybe the leading scorer. Harrison, he very was cuter, handsome. Very handsome. Married. And oh, what is he, he worried about? He was cuter than um, I'm protecting his wife. Married. 
Uh, oh, he got Corona, so he's in the, he's he's got shit going on. <laughs> he got, he's doing shit. He's he got Corona this season. Um, and Harrison. he what, let me see his stats this season. He's got nice shoulders, Harrison. Doing he's good. he was cuter in college, I believe. Everyone's um, cuter in college. His Neil. average this season. He's six eight. Huh. Uh, oh my. I think his season. That's for regular season. Just go, go to all of them. Uh, his stats this season. He's averaged um sixteen points. I thought it was a little higher. Okay, the that the, the, they're a young team. Um, so pretty cool. Um, uh, they're a young team, and he was cuter in college because he was skinnier. I didn't know he was a listener. I didn't either, Bianca. You never know who's out there listening, and I don't know how much of a listener he is. Hey, eh, pretty similar body. No, he was. I like. I mean, he. You like pretty, this body better? Well, I mean, he's very cute here, but he's also cute in. Yeah, both. he's cute. Those arms, I'm like. His arms are a little more thicker man. now. He so, man. anyhow, and uh, is that what your arms look like? Right after I get off the flex, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. The uh, flex. Bad news. That's cute. The North Carolina when yeah. he's dribbling. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Anyhow, we like to appraise male bodies on this show. <laughs> and uh, Wale felt that Wale said he was going to take up soccer. <laughs> Wale's cute. Wale yeah. does fine. He does all right in the lady business. He does. When he does travel to cities, people do fuck him. <laughs> so. Unlike you, <laughs> bum <Neil>. ass motherfucker. <laughs> um, I also think women... Women will happily like women's expectations for f having sex with a rapper, basketball player are so much lower than they would be for me. Wait, like, their expectations are those, lower. The, their expectations for me are like you better, you better do this and this and yeah, this and that. Whereas them, it's like I, you remember my name. <laughs> They're excited. They have no expectations. Um. Anyhow. Goodbye. Um. Here's. Do we have any more audios? There's one more. One more. Wow. Give them one okay, more. On. You've got mail. What up, Neely Billy? Long time to Wednesday. L S T N E R writing to ask. Oh, nice. How will has made such an incredible turnaround these past few months? I think everyone can agree that Will would regularly f up to the point where we all thought it was a bit. But Neil's genuine frustration came through enough that Thank you. I was even saying to myself, <laughs> damn, bro, you really about to lose your job. <laughs> but lately, his music and effects drops have been fire. It can't just be him getting a new desk, so what gives? <laughs> and Spear Padre showing him I a lighter think... management touch, pay raise, benefits. What, what is it? So uh, what Neil B. thinking? That's a great question. Great. And we're gonna add, Will's going to answer it in a second. Um, <laughs> Will speaks. But Oh, by the way, he's regressed this episode. It's it, one step forward, two steps back. He's turned all the way around. He's and worse ended than up ever. Back he's this is started. probably his worst ever episode. If he hit record on this, it would be that's a shock. Uh, Will, do you want to talk about your art? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Hello, feelers. This is Will. Will. Will, Will. Over the course of the next 14 hours, I'll be diving deep into my art. Deeper and deeper dives. From bad Googler to adequate producer. Chapter one, my birth. The year was 1991. My pregnant mother arrived at the hospital at the same time Neil arrived at the premiere of Eddie Murphy's Boomerang. No. And I, well, no. I realized I don't have to take this shit and it helped. I relaxed. There you go. He relaxed, he everybody. All that but, but, relaxed. But it was we did have a in. we did have a heart to heart before you relax. Um, while you're relaxing, can you put the timer so we can see the hour? I just oh yeah, you can. Yeah. Thank this you. This is my worst episode too. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're all on okay. the same page. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Um, he relaxed and he relaxed. I did have a com I did have a heart to heart with him. Father son. And uh, but he got better. Also trying. I think people. Oh, Neil. I want to. Let me hijack. Yeah. Let me hijack this, real, right quick. Um, let me cut myself off <laughs> for once. Um, try. Don't be afraid to try, everybody. That's all I'm saying. Goodbye. 
You've got mail. Um, hi, Neil and Bianca. No time for cute introductions, although I will say I'm of the elite Thursday Watchers Club. Hey. Um, in episode 100, you discuss how sex work being legalized makes it safer because it makes pimps obsolete. I was surprised how you overlooked the golden sketch idea of a temp service for recently out of work pimps. Feel free to Paco delicious me. <laughs> this just needs to get to the people. The he's that's a that's very good, good sketch. Uh, I would also either a different sketch or part of this sketch. It would be job. They would go to job retraining. Like a job they retraining. They do a program. Camden, New Jersey. Yeah, they all get re. They all go to like a class and like I have a question, um, <laughs> and then whatever they all do different. It's a bunch of pimp, like a cut. I have a question. A cut to a like ten pimps in a classroom. Right. You're it's you're uh, getting a big laugh. The Chappelle Show, the Lost Tapes. I know. Um, that would be so. Yeah. Good. Eddie Murphy had a fucking hilarious pimp idea sketch that i will not say because someone will pocket delicious it okay but um and then dave had a fucking hilarious beat on it i think i mentioned on the champs once but you'll have to go back through the the tapes (laughs) um yes i would do job retraining and then placing them in jobs um including one that just came to my head nanny a pimp (laughs) dog walker for dog walker of course (laughs) keith of Comes course, back and then like lawyer. Step. <laughs> um, yeah, like I ain't picking shit up. You pick, well, you ain't. I ain't picking your shit up. The fuck I look like, and they'd have rhymes about it, because that's <laughs> pimps speak only in rhyme. I was like, um, starting to feel. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done a white pimp. There are white pimps. I know. There's like two of them. No, no, no. And I it's, Jenny it's Jones. white bone. And they're, they're literally about how they're not black. <laughs> <laughs> Their names are like, I'm not black. My pimp name is I'm not black, Steve. <laughs> they're literally based around the fact that they're not black. You th- even when you think you caught me in racism, you caught Look yourself. Look at him wiggling out. You dis Trey. <laughs> you dis yourself. Goodbye. You've got I mail. find it weird that Bianca can't understand why millions of white people would care about the historical plight of black Americans and thus watch Roots. I watched it faithfully in the 70s when it aired. Uh, as a young white girl, I was riveted and heartbroken by a cruelty I had never before understood and knew too little about. And I didn't have woke parents or grow up in diversity. I cared anyway. Plenty of white people from everywhere despise cruelty and inequality, racial injustice, even when they are very young and inexperienced and less aware of their relative privilege that still persists. Hopefully, the ones who wanted to see Roots and empathize grew to understand that. I would assume so. Sorry. Just thought it was weird that she didn't understand Roots. Uh, Okay. So what I, I can totally understand millions of white people watching Roots. My issue, the reason what's confusing to me is one, Roots is the most watched thing on TV. I think after the last episode of MASH at the time. Some, yeah. And then some, and then the, you know, Super Bowls are right up there with it. So what's confusing to me, no, but there's a weird genre of entertainment in this country where it's the whole point of the film or the movie or the show is like black people being abused by white people, by evil white people. Everyone watch, everyone's seen A Time to Kill. No one's rooting for the white people. <laughs> yeah. Because, um, okay. So everyone can get behind, everyone can get behind black suffering. What I don't get is a lot of those people are still alive. And, and it's, it's even today, black people have to, con- ha- it's the same conversations. It's the same conversations from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. We're, the conversation hasn't changed much of what black people are trying to say. And like you would said, think that something would have happened. Where it's like within the oh. month, the month window after they watched it. Yeah. Or it just, it, that, that, you know, that resonated with them and they took that, uh, with them into the world. But it seems like black people are still having to convince a lot of a particular part of white America that no, no, it's really still very bad in terms of racism and judgment that black people get and i just don't there's like a disconnect so i'm not surprised that they watched i'm surprised that it seems like didn't do much 
I think what I'm hearing, if I hear you correctly, Negotiator. what you're saying is representation doesn't matter. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. You've got hey, that. Neil Wall and Dolph Banks. Don't know what that means. And Free Willy. Don't know what that means. Uh, THRSD Watcher here. Uh, should I feel bad about continuing to accept? Oh, this he just gets right into it. Should I feel bad about continuing to accept unemployment wages? I have been working in the restaurant industry for over 15 years. I could return to work now, but I get paid too well not to. Part of me feels like an asshole for taking advantage of the flawed system that was set up for unemployment compensation, but I also enjoy it. Well, in that case, um, it has allowed me to help family through troubling times during COVID restrictions and shit. I won't bother you with the details, but I assure you I've been useful. However, I've also been able to save money while not working. Which entity slash person is the biggest asshole in this situation? I'm a big fan of all three of you. We care about you, Will. Um... I don't know what entity could be an asshole in this situation besides him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the. Uh, uh, okay, so like PPP loans were basically um, forgiven if you hired back people. And if you didn't, the rate is so low. Yeah. There's no real incentive. There's no. But that's not what he's talking about. No, no, I'm, that's, yeah. I'm just setting that up. So to me, I'm like, well. There's plenty of people who got loans and I don't know if they always needed them or they were like, I'm not bringing back these people. I just need this for my own personal self, selfish, not selfish reasons. That sounds pejorative, but just, I just need this for myself. Sorry. Right now, tough times. So I think right now, I think you have like a year. I feel like if at, in 2022, you're, you're still, still doing it. All right. So you're calling amnesty. Yeah. You're going like, no, no harm, many, no foul. Too many. It's a. It's a wild time. It's a wild time, and there's too many um, variations on everyone's situation. What you don't like it? Uh, I don't. I mean, I, you know, you like when it. you think about the amount, of, I just wish they give fucking less money to buy bomb. I just wish there was huh? less military. Oh, okay. Budget and more to people. It's I, funny though. We people. There are a lot of people saying, you know, we're giving too much money. We shouldn't give so much money. Like even with the 600, I mean, there are people who thought that was insane. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Where is this all coming yeah. from? But uh, I, the military budget is insane. secret, right? Or no, do we know? It's 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 public. They don't. I don't think they tell. It's not every itemized. Time. <laughs> They're no. not like potatoes. The bombs where and they'd say What's where they the, keep them. Uh, it's defense budget, 714 billion. And, you know, it's a fucking ton up. of money. That's <laughs> so much money. Yeah. And it went up and like, for what we're not. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It should all be cyber and that's not working. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's only 715 billion. Um, anyhow, so I, uh, you know, you gotta, you got, you got, once it opens up, stop it. Mm. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> what's up, Neil and Bianca? I caught myself leaving the bar on Tuesday cause y'all uploaded eight slash nine and it was a great decision. Yay. Congrats, Neil, for joining Cameron in killing Calvin, AKA Kermit, when you snuck to Cuba to kill Franklin Pops. <laughs> Snowfall season finale and paid in full references. Mm -hmm. You're in great company. I have no idea what he's literally no <laughs> idea. Uh, let me like let me get it. that clear. Swing and a miss. Correct. Uh, my question for both y'all is: What's the wildest thing, all caps, y'all put up with in a relationship because the sex was otherworldly? And what would you do f do now for it? I bet you got a good one. Hmm. Um, I'm like, there's so many. The problem is this gets upset every single time. It's so <laughs> great. Get upset. I just you get like you 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 truly flinch. No, we have a thing. It's funny. Okay. You have you you for some reason make it weird. Well, right back at you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 
I think I'm like I don't want to say that one. I don't want to say that one. Um, the problem is the sex wasn't. <laughs> Play all my songs. Yeah, Damn yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Uh, the someone told me they sent in a me sneezing song. We need a I song never heard for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I never heard that. I've never either. heard that one. You heard it when they submitted, but you've never sneezed again. Oh, we didn't hear. It. I don't remember that. Okay. Well, well, being a bad look, boy. <laughs> the guy gets one letter and he's starting to tell us about the podcast. Uh, I you go because I'm like I, I'm just. Uh, I, there was just a girl that was so nuts, <laughs> and she tracked my car. Put a low jack on you. Yeah, it turned out two different guys had restraining orders against her. Oh, my. How long until she showed crazy? Pretty immediately. How before or after the sex? I mean, <laughs> before. I, I mean, look, Bianca, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, but it was uh, she was crazy. What did she what was the biggest? Oh, no, no. This just every, weird. just kind of every, just showing up places I was, started taking walks on my street for <gasps> some reason. Uh, like just while we were dating, it was like, yo, you got to chill the fuck out. This is, there was no reason to do all that. No. She kind of lived near me, but like, there's other hills. How did you? <laughs> um, and coming to where we get coffee, just like, just crazy. How did you end it? Uh, I basically, she banged on my door at one point and it was really crazy. And the funny oh thing is God. almost worth it. Really? She was so hot. It was almost worth Did it. She get in bed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, good. It wasn't even good. Like she dad fucking. No, no, but just, it was, it was good. just, a, it was just a real nice connection. <laughs> we'll say that. <laughs> Um, I, God, I don't know. I'm different. I don't, if you're not mentally great, I become less attracted to you. You must be pretty wet right now. <laughs> Cause who's greater? Than but yeah, so I, mm, and then I'm not into the sex if you're weird, if you're acting crazy. So I have had relationships where it just digresses because I'm like, this is now nurse patient. You're not able to deal yeah. with your own emotions. So all the crazies I have, I the sex became very bad or like non-existent. Yeah, this girl was like jealous. It was crazy. It was crazy. But that's the difference between guys and girls because uh, maybe it's just I bet me. there are girls listening that have been with jealous guys that they still like fucking or took it as a sign of something right. or that – Eventually, though, it's I, I, I'm, I'm different. People have makeup sex. I don't like that. If I'm not in a if we're not good, I'm not horny. Mm. Okay. Bumper sticker shit. <laughs> That's bumper sticker shit straight up. OK, if we're not good, I'm not horny. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, I work in bumper stickers he for does. 17 years. <laughs> and then let me tell you, something. that's a hit bumper okay, sticker. Great. Bumper stickers kind of fell off. Anyhow. What was it? Was there at one point? It was the main form of community. It was the internet of the 70s. It's true. Was bumper stickers. You gotta, you gotta put that in something, the thing. Something. Something. You gotta put that in the thing. Something. Goodbye. Oh, yes. Long time yeah. listener. First time writer. Love your show. I have two unrelated questions to so no hard feelings if you only get to one. Uh, first, this is about music rights. This wasn't interesting. No, um, this was just about. And then there was another right. one about. Uh, I'm struggling with the choice of using Finistride for hair loss and wondering if you've ever had any experience with any, as a middle-aged man with a full head of hair, mm. the potential side effects are scary and include erectile dysfunction, <gasps> uh, which you've oh. discussed somewat publicly as a side effect of medications you've taken. It's true. Uh, what did I say? Dick, dick issues? Um, uh, obviously, I know you're not a doctor, but wondering your take on it. Side question for Bianca. How important is a full head of hair on a guy? For context, I'm 34, tall, white, and skinny, and have historically had a full head of blonde hair that's been an asset to my looks. Wondering how that will affect my chances on the market as a single guy. Um, go. 
you, uh, I don't know, if you're balding, that's not, like if it looks like a zombie mask, a Halloween zombie mask, not good. You don't like a shaved head? No, I don't mind if it's bicked or shaved or sh short, but if you're, if you're not getting the message, some people just zombie mask, they just leave it patchy. Oh, like Fire Marshal Bill shit. Like, no, I'm gonna, I have hair. Like, oh right. no, that's so you bad. You don't though. <laughs> you don't though. Uh, also, some guys unfortunately have eggheads or very big temples. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I just, I'd better just to go with it because fighting it is I not think, good. I mean, shaving's never been more welcome uh, amongst like society. Yeah. Um, Wait, what do you mean? For shaving heads. It's like popular to just now? be bald. Yeah, yeah. It's never been more just accepted. Like just squeaky mm. for black guys and white guys. Um the thing that came up thinking about this was the side of I mean that what's funny is that guys' biggest worry about anything is erectile dysfunction. Right. Like fucking anything. Um, That's when you come too quick or you It's when come you can't to... get a boner. Oh. Uh, you know, one of the, I started doing this when I was probably 20. I read in Premier Magazine. Magazines were papers that they would put out <laughs> once a month. And Anthony Hopkins, who played, or not Anthony Perkins, I always get them confused, uh, who played Norman Bates in Psycho, said that he used to pull his hair, like just kind of grip it as like a way to deal with hair loss and he it like it was preventative so i've been doing it since i was 20 wait what do you mean you it's... just literally just like yank pull your own hair a little bit just like get a handful of it and okay. just squeeze right what's that supposed to do it's nothing but okay. for some reason i think it works so i still do it because i don't i didn't go bald well traumatizing parts of your body makes them uh, right. Regen well, yeah, I told you about the the. There's in I think it's in Korea they they titty slap to uh, to grow their boobs. It's small world. I pussy pinch. <laughs> oh my god! So as we learned a few weeks ago. Um, uh, um, yeah. So I don't know. Try doing that. <laughs> Neil's everyone. Advice. Try it. Fuck Tell it. Right. It worked for me, and that's the only thing I did. Also, there's not a ton of baldness in my family. Um, there's the, there's a shampoo called, uh, it has a bad name, like Narvolax or mm -hmm. Miral. I don't know. What pretty it, great name. Go no. ahead. <laughs> uh, and my, Nioxin, Myoxin, something like that. Anyways, it keeps whatever you have. Yeah. So if you're starting to go bald, just maintain. I think. Yeah. That's I mean, uh, it's, that's, the, it's a thing that guys, it's terrifying. It's ter more terrifying guys. If you, if you look good bald. Right, no but problem. you don't know. It's like it yeah. doesn't. You don't go. Oh, I look good bald. Go ahead, hair. It's just a thing that happens to you. Yeah. They don't know when or why. Hats don't help. Apparently, Hats, you see a guy in a hat, you just go, "Oh, he's bald." <laughs> if I see an adult in a hat, I just go, "Oh, he's a bald person." <laughs> if a celebrity's wearing a hat more than twice anywhere, like, like the Lucas Brothers wore hats last night, he's bald. Straight up. Know. Like, that's what happens. I mean, when you see a guy in a hat, and and if that is the case, without the hat, it's shocking. Yeah. Which is sad. I hate I hate that. It sucks. Of course. It, well, that's the thing. Is it's like a big thing for guys that I think women have no sympathy for. <laughs> yeah. Like, just like, no, like, I don't give a fuck. You know, my vagina. And it's like, this is terrifying <laughs> that my hair is falling out, and there's nothing I can do about it. But... People will still fuck you, whereas if all you the got age the happens. the kind of money I have, yeah. <laughs> so I used to Show them like, the net worth, yeah. Will. Put them on. The, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you can. They'll still fuck you, but they don't. They're not as happy. A woman, an aged. You want to talk about hip hop expectations of a woman? When, hip hop. What are you saying? Musician, basketball player, comedian, bald guy. In terms of like the shit you then owe them. Fine, but now I think it's a low bar for guys who will fuck women. I don't think you have to be a supermodel to get with a guy, but 
once you've aged and you've had a child and you just never got it tight again, mm -hmm. if you didn't already fuck that person before, you're not as much of an desirable. Option. No, you don't even want to. Yeah, but you I'm don't sympathetic like to that. I feel I that truly must be. I mean, the good, the only good news for women is you're probably less interested in sex. Just, <laughs> just I, generally speaking, women are less interested in sex than men. I know women will argue with me about this, no, but I don't know. but that's been my experience. Okay. Um, you're just saying we don't feel as bad, but yeah, how are I, you there seems to that? be zero empathy for balding guys. Also, if you want this a side note, if you want to laugh really hard, <laughs> look at any TV clip from the 70s and at least one guy will have a comb over. It oh was <laughs> you never see it anymore cuz of all the medication shit. Almost any clip. No, uh, yeah, 70s video footage there will be there will be some guy with a comb over. Uh it's all women. There's the and there's my oh, comb yeah, there over go. upper left. Going Thank you. <laughs> Upper um, left was so good. Yeah. Um, anyhow, so um, so do your best, sir. Try it. See what happens. And then, of do course, yank darned. it. Yank it. Yank <laughs> it. When in doubt, yank. Yank it. Goodbye. This was an interesting one. Mm. Um, you got mail. As a white chef in an Indian restaurant, I would get shit for cultural appropriation, even though we use traditional ingredients, recipes, and cooking methods. Is there a line that you can cross with food? When you start to look like one of those old white dudes wearing a dashiki. <laughs> uh, well, this is the thing. If you don't, he's a chef in an Indian restaurant. It just, who owns it? Well, also a lot of restaurants, the cooks are Latin, at least in California. Yeah. That hasn't been, I haven't noticed that. <laughs> you don't go back uh, okay. there. Uh, <laughs> it's like a barrio. Oh, I see your point. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the thing of like, okay, what if it's like an, a place that just doesn't have, like, let's say it's Wyoming. There's just not a lot of Indians around and you, you love, I, Neil Brennan, I love Indian food. So good. I fucking love so dipping good. the thing and the, the naan and the thing and the bup, 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 um, and the curry and the different curry. What if I want to open a restaurant in Wyoming and I'm white no one in Wyoming will give a shit, so you're good. No, of course not. But is it morally wrong? No, but this guy also—it's not his restaurant, so right. But if a white person owns it, is that a problem? I don't know because do you want to go to a? Because the problem is also I've gone to white. Most restaurants are white owned, just statistically, and they do all sorts of Asian fusion, and they go to. Mm -hmm. Like lots of culinary backgrounds. So whatever. The problem is when they fuck it up. I think if you own Indian restaurant, it's great. Great. But there's whitewashing. There's like P.F. Chang's. There's the. I think everyone's worried you turn it into a, a P.F. Chang's. I think the problem is just don't post about it on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Meaning well, in a 2021 like, world. But what I'm saying is the problem with a lot of the cultural appropriation shit isn't that you didn't do it right. It's, it's that, that you're you, the wrong race. You flex a little you too just, hard. You're the wrong race to do it. Um, so I don't know what the solution. It used to the old our old answer was just don't profit from it in an egregious way. Now, I don't know what I would say. Because there are. <sighs> I can't think of them off the top of my head, but there are a lot of examples of someone taking a cultural dish, calling it something else, totally yeah, like relabeling it. Onion, what do they call it? Flatbread. It's like, no, it's pita bread. It's <laughs> flatbread. Pita, no, it's pita. Well. So that feels a little... Okay, yeah, I know. I don't, I don't fucking know, know though, but it's also this person put in overhead to buy a restaurant... Yeah, I know. Um, I don't. I that's the it. But our answer has our policies changed. You know what it is? They will know if they fucked up because no one will eat there, or someone. No, will eat there. I don't think that's the gauge. I don't because it could be like this. we used all the proper ingredients. If I don't like curry, I don't give a fuck if you use the greatest curry in the world. Like, or I'm averse to right. trying new shit. Republicans are averse to trying new shit. They by are. The way. So you get like statistically, they did a study. <laughs> it's, a, it's truly. That's goodbye. Um, um, you got mail. Hey, 
Hey, Bianca and <laughs> Neil. Um, question for the Spirit Padre. Uh, wondering if the law of diminishing returns applies to ayahuasca. Since Neil does it frequently and Bianca's done it one and done, I'm just wondering if the first time is the most intense, becomes less so over time, or is it still feel like a life-altering experience every time? Bianca's done it once. So uh, the diminishing returns thing you can't speak to. We are grooming Bianca to do it again. There's no other Getting, word for it. I mean, um, and, um, and I, I do not find diminishing returns. But then Will told us about there's a thing called you hit the woo. Yeah. And you get less and less. It just plateaus. And you get less and less from it. it. Is that what the study said? No. What it's the fuck a, did you say a, then? That's it was a different. It was a. It's a. It's complicated. It's not. It's not that, that simple. simple. No. Um, well, Will did not. It's like it Indian well. white people owning Indian restaurants. It's very complicated. <laughs> um, the I don't find diminishing returns at all. I, the cool thing is, the window, the halo lasts longer. Like, because I've done it over, I don't know how many times, but I mean, I know how many times, but, but I don't like, I'm no longer telling people because people are like, that seems like a lot. And then I have to explain like, actually, uh, but (laughs) the, I haven't done it in three weeks and the, it, I still have it. I feel like you're good for a while if you want it to be. Yeah. But it's not like two weeks ago, I was very in it. It's just, it gets, I think if you've done it enough, it never like leaves you, leaves you. I don't think it ever leaves you, leaves you. Um, so, oh, you believe you do it once, it never leaves you. Yeah, I still have the same benefits. They feel part of me. Yeah. Just, it just the uh, but way I the feel way the same think, way. Where just I'm like less... my brain, just the neuropathy of how to yeah. like deal with things and how to think and how not to deal with things and how not to think i don't know just stuck so that's good yay pretty good stuff ayahuasca keep it up <laughs> <laughs> root in power <laughs> queen she's a lady she is a lady she's, she's a, a lady, lady. Whoa, whoa. uh by the way my luther vandros <laughs> oh my clip God, on so funny. instagram did very a very nice business and what song did I sing? You sang um, uh, here, here and, and now. now. I promise to love faithfully. Here and now, and I tagged James Poyser, Academy Award winner, maybe. Did he? No. He he. Then did you put see the comment he wrote under it? No. He said, "Oh, that's funny." L- yeah, bring it up, Will. Look under the comments. Oh, James wrote. Yo, remember maybe 15 years ago, I was working on a beat in your crib when I sampled a Luther joint and you said, quote, who listens to Luther Vandross and walked off. (laughs) (laughs) And I erased it because I was crashing at your crib and I was scared you'd kick me out. Anyways. (laughs) (laughs) So funny. Also, his stories about you sound like your stories about Dave. Just these random like, and then you walked off. Just yell not, something and walk off. Uh, not the ones I tell on the podcast. Um, the uh, the the. But that's also I didn't tell him to erase it. No, I mean it. you guys just like it's almost just a scene out of a show, and then you like hit the punchline. Oh walk yeah, off, yeah. Who listens to Liz Ha 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 ha. Yeah, ha ha ha. Walk boom, off. Walk off. Yeah. Because he could have just said black people, <laughs> and taken care of it right there. No white people do that. No, I know, but mostly. How long have you known this guy, James? Yeah. 17 how'd you meet him 19 years uh i met me and dave the roots were doing a session in electric ladyland in probably 99 or 2000 it's the first time i met amir Mm. and he asked me what happened to half baked because he had read the (laughs) script he's like what happened I i don't fucking know man the cute thing was, this is how long ago this was also, Radiohead had just released an album. I think it was the, their first album since OK Computer. So I think it was Hail to the Thief. I don't remember. But like four or five different routes gave us money to buy the CD. 
because we were going to the store. Like all the roots. We're like, hey, so I want roots. that album. This is oh. just how fucking dumb albums used to be. You had to just, Everyone had, had to, to go? give you money. So and you had, because we were going to the Sam Goody on 6th Avenue. Or it wasn't Sam Goody. I can't remember what it was. But, and James was there. And they were maybe doing D'Angelo or Eric about doing cool. um, Or no, Common maybe. I don't remember. Okay. Um, but, and we've been close friends. He's a, he, James Poyser's a brilliant musician mm. and a great, doesn't curse. Really? Does not curse. She plays in church every Sunday, doesn't curse. Oh. Like a, a gem of a guy, like a truly special guy. Um, but don't play a Luther sample in my house <laughs> or you will get booted, apparently. Um, Goodbye. Neil. You got mail. Oh, this is an interesting question. All right. I'm a 42-year-old dinosaur from Boston who doesn't know shit about social media or have any desire to be an entertainer. Been listening to comedy podcasts for the past few years. I'm surprised so many comedians refer to themselves as artists and often cite having to write new material after public performance. Isn't that just having a job? I make and paint custom things, motorcycle, auto paint, sign, furniture fabric fabrication. When one job ends, I start another one. From design concepts to finished products, this could be considered an art form. I'm aware that art is subjective and oftentimes total bullshit. Is being labeled an entertainer or comedian viewed as less successful? Uh, there's a former fighter with a podcast who's borderline, who's a borderline retard. <laughs> he called his comedy art and it made me laugh. So maybe I'm wrong. I'm tempted to advertise myself as an artist and see if that draws different clientele. I have a feeling it would get cunty quick. Um, Do you say artist? Mm, not really. What context do they say artist? I guess I've never I mean, heard I that. could technically. I don't think it's wrong. I just don't hear. The only reason this guy doesn't call himself an artist is because he lives in Boston and he would get, <laughs> he would get hate crimed. They would just, he would get gay bashed for being an artist, <laughs> for calling himself an artist, even if he's heterosexual. Um, and so I don't, this is just goes to people don't like comedians saying anything uh, like that thing where I'm like, we're funnier than everyone. Mm. People don't like that. Picasso says I'm a better artist than everybody. You go, oh yeah, that's true. But because everyone's a little funny. Mm. You don't want to, you, they don't like it when you say, like, no, no, I, this, we're better at this. They don't right. like it. They don't play baseball, so they're happy to say someone's bit. So it's just a matter of they don't like it when you say something's, uh, it's the same thing of like, that makes me uncomfortable. So there's a fly here, <laughs> apparently, and Bianca's um, having a tough time with it. I'm sorry. It's, um, it's attacking me. You and, fly as races. I, I trained him up. <laughs> um, so people just don't like it when comedians are have anything cocky, what they would consider cocky, but anyone else, you would just go, yeah, you're, yeah, LeBron, you're better at basketball than almost everybody. Mm. But if if Rock says he's better at comedy than almost everybody, there's like a bit of like, right, fuck out of here. And if I say it, I'm getting beat up. <laughs> you're getting beat up. Um. So, yeah, they just don't like it. I think it's because comedy is so – it's hard to be the, like – it's hard to be the LeBron of comedy because, like you say, not all of us can be LeBron. The way you relate to – the way we think you're funny and Dave's funny and even the greatest ones, you're still relating to me in a way that mm -hmm. I can understand. We are still, we're still speaking the same language. Yeah. So because of that, it's really hard for you guys to – label yourselves like goat. it doesn't seem transcendent yeah. right it's not like a song where you're like whoa i no one thinks they're a songwriter a little bit no no one thinks like i think of melodies but i will say i've seen people like around around you not as much around dave around a lot of comedians they start cracking jokes i'm like Ugh. you should come in my dm sometime Oh, I'm sure it ha but you, you don't give off as a approachable vibe. Not fun. <laughs> I'm not saying not fun. You're not as approachable in no, person. No, yeah. You're you're kind of like you're 
You know, there's some animals that you don't know they're poisonous and there's some that are neon. Are you, I think you're headed to a place where you're saying I seem poisonous. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean seems poisonous. Like, it just seems like you're like, no, it's no, but off, the, on the upside, please. or that's the, it's both, that's kind of the upside. Cause I don't, right. You don't have to, I'm not dying. Yeah. I don't that. have to like, ah, uh, right. um, the downside is no one <laughs> offers me cocaine. No one ever has. And I, it's getting to the point where it doesn't look like it's, it's going to happen. Happening. So when Dave seems approachable, certain ones seem approachable yeah. and the amount of, oh my God, like you're bombing. Oh, I mean, Dave's a magnet. He's for, a magnet. He's but a even magnet other for just insane wanna, people. They just want to. Chris, hey. they don't. No, but everybody wants to kind of be funny with you guys. With comedians. I just mean yeah. like, let's just say all comedians, especially headliners. They want to always be They like, want to do yeah, the yeah, thing that yeah, they yeah, want. Yeah. When you meet Mike Tyson, you want yeah. to do this. <laughs> exactly. So you like. Ah. Right. Put me in a headlock. Yeah. When like, I met ah. Debo, I met Debo and he. I was like, can we take a photo? He's like, come on. And then he put me in a headlock. I'm like, I didn't need this. Yeah, it's a little much. But I'm sure so many people ask him. That's the move that they want. So I just do thing the thing. To, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so. Colin Quinn says when people are trying to be funny around us, it's singing in the shower. That's what he calls it. <laughs> it's like you're just trying to sing in the shower. Like, and you're just like, okay. It's their thing. It it's has. It really has thing. nothing to do. Yeah, with you. it's like they just. You just okay. Sing. Yeah, I get it. I sing in the shower. Does do people? Do people ever try out bits on you? People DM me. I what mean, that guy sent the pimp sketch. That well, that was good. That was right, but there's no there's difference. Probably, right. The only difference is that one. He doesn't know it's good. I mean, he. You know right. what I mean? He's like, you could have been. Seems good. I bet he was like, this <laughs> seems weirdly good. Well, a lot of people are that listener that was like. Fifteen thousand dollars, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then, like, oh. my sister did an intervention on me, and now I don't think it. Um, so, dark days, yeah. dark days of the pond. Uh, it's uh, you know what time it is. <laughs> I think it's it's uh, what? it's you know to quote the great philosopher Will, <laughs> I don't have to take this shit. I definitely don't have to take this shit. You don't. Have I don't to take this think shit. I do either. And uh, we got another one in the books. Goodbye. We don't have to say this shit. No. We don't have to say this shit. She's so good. Yeah. Uh.